people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We put our names on it. Okay, one, okay, one. If you ever had a second chance, you better be thankful. If you ever had a second time around, man, I've been through it. I lost out and I faced what the first wrong. Feel no hope. Bad thoughts, shoes in the guy go home when I was sitting up on that gray hill. My mom went through these zones like you got none. Lost everything, it's no good feeling alone. Hey, pop said no dollars. Life didn't make sense. How did I end up back where I started? What did I miss? I went from condos to pop's house. On calls, now bus routes. And the one person who had the key to my heart. What up, what up? It's your boy, Paul P. I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion and welcome to another episode of amc thursday just kicking it with the bros man we in here you already know we got jy one more Jeez. we got swag in the building what's, the deal? what's popping swag what's my brother man hey man well, well, well. No, everybody was all here last week, huh? Everybody yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all here. It was all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us. That was a week before we had K seven, but yeah, last week all of us was here. But how's everything? Oh, what's up? What's up, bro? What's what's what's, what's life like, man? Man, Jay, why one more? He's looking good, smelling good, and feeling good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just out here trying to get first place and win a race. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, except for you know everything, except for these. You know, bro cats out here, man, trying to trying to, you know, get these uh whips we trying to sell, man, on the low low. Yeah, on the man, cheap. That too. That, you know, that we let people two. know a little bit about what's going on in the life, you know what I'm saying? And everything like that. You know, you know, we 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 do our thing in the car game too, you know. That's part you know, of the game, though. You know, we all kind of little hustles, but that's definitely one of them. You know, and, and and people need to know, man, if you're trying to get a whip, if it's a price for the whip, don't don't go down two, three thousand dollars. If a price at eight grand, don't say you're not gonna go over five grand. You know what I'm saying? No man, cats is ridiculous, like, man. man. I feel and you these on are that. like grown men. Like, like this is what this is all about, man. Having these conversations here as men. And like, they try to get sob stories too. Like, yeah. please, man, because I'm going through it, man. My wife left me, man. My kids <laughs> they give me them sob stories. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, I ain't falling for that, dog. Like, I need man. the cash, all of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I understand people go through our times. Okay, cool. Don't call. Like, 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 don't call and try to buy a Porsche if you only got 10 racks. You get what I'm saying? Like, like this, this, that's what dudes be, this be dudes. Women don't do that. That's why I say, I, I give it, to, I give it to women don't do that, you know? But dudes, man, these dudes, grown men. Hey, man, you know, I only got five grand, man. I know it's say 10, five, but uh, I only got five grand, but I maybe could do a payment plan or something like that. <laughs> like a payment plan? I don't even know you. Like, what? Man, bro. I, think I don't even know yeah, you. Hey, I had a cat actually no told me, he was like, can I just bring out your car for a week? I was like, dude, no. What the fuck? Like, bro, it's for sale. I need all the money. Like, rent out my car for a week? These people crazy, like, man. Damn, bro. They crazy. crazy. But yeah, dude, man. Hey, just save your money up. If you're trying to get a whip, don't call someone who's selling a car, whatever it is. Just save your money. At least get to where you like 500 off or something, right? Like yeah, 500 yeah. off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sense. Maybe, maybe a thousand if it's is worth. If it's five, the car five thousand. No, have, have the the exact amount. But if it's ten thousand, maybe if you got nine grand, okay. But I mean, come on, man. When it, it, it if a car is like eight thousand, don't come in with no four thousand. Like it's just crazy, man. Jeez. Well, you swag at Delhi, man. What's popping, man? What's going on bro, with you, man? Chilling, bro, uh, shit. Just chopping it up with the homies and trying to figure out some shit, bro. Trying to see, yeah. trying to get into this house, trying yeah. to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking with the homie. You know, you got a little cool little realtor, you know, shit like that, man. Real life shit, man. Trying to figure out, man. That's what's up, man. Got the man, man, sweater looking hard, bro. Got oh, the, you out. know what I'm saying? You know, repping, you know? Hey, I love repping the bright colors, Hoover. man. So, you know, swag came ready today. Came ready. Everybody chewed up. Hey, what was that on when he was like, got your eyes all on? I forgot what movie it was. You know, yo, Joel's or something like that. I'm trying to think. I forgot what movie, man. Oh, movie? oh, that's what it was. Uh, um, paid in full. Oh, paid in full. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. When Money Mitch got out the, uh, oh, yeah. got out of jail. Oh yeah, yeah. And Ace Boogie, he was all, he's like, got your Joel's on your neck. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, that like, comedy. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, if you haven't right saw Paid in Full, gotta go see it, man. Cameron killed it. Killed paid in full. I know, I know, he was the, you know, in the end, a snitch. He killed Money Mitch and all that type of stuff. But Cameron did his thing, man. That's one of my favorite movies of all time, man. Paid in full. But all right, man, we're going to get it to it. Y'all ready to jump into some topics, man? Yeah, we can. Hey, hey, also, too, 
Today, a lot of y'all may get mad at us. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all may get mad. You know what I'm saying? We doing the top 25 R&B artists of all time out of the top 50 list. Man. Man, this is the one I was most excited for because, you know, it grew up at R&B babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, first, first, mu well, first music I heard was gospel, but the first song I ever recorded in my life with my cousin and uncle was uh, uh, to an instrumental uh, by R. Kelly. You know, so we grew up in that R&B family and everything like that, so... This is exciting, but a lot of people may get frustrated, mad, have something to say because it's our list at the end of the day. You may not see a lot of people on this list that you may be like, hey, what happened to this person? What happened to this? Look, we only could pick 25 people. Yeah, for real. That's it. 25 people out of 50. That's all we got. You get what I'm saying? And it's our list. So it's going to be people. So we're going to have some bias mixed up in it, but also, too, we're gonna be realistic too, you know what I'm saying? If it's if it's great greats, even if we listen to them or not, or or have this, you know, we listen to all of them. But even if we never really like bumped them like that, if they great great, they gonna be on the list, you know, by far. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna be biased too, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know, we we more was like in R&B in the '90s, '90s and early 2000s. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's like our generation of uh, R&B. To be real, our real generation is early 2000s if you're talking about like high school and stuff like that, junior high, high school and all of that. But because R&B was presented to us so early, we we kind of like, hey, we, we love the 90s too. You know what I'm saying? So you may see a lot of those. Who knows? We'll see, man. But, uh, but we will be doing that today after we touch on a couple of topics. You know, we got to jump into some topics, talk about what's going on out there and everything like that. That's because that's what we do. You feel me? So uh, let's go on to get up into it. So um, the first topic today, man, uh, Tory Lanez, he filed for a new motion of appeal. So Tory Lanez, he's trying to get up out of there, man. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, so let me let me read a little bit of it. So uh, Tory Lanez, Tory Lanez has basically uh, filed a motion for a new trial after being found guilty of shooting superstar Meg The Stallion um, on a California curbside in July 2020. Um, he got a new lawyer, and basically he um, is now filing for a motion of appeal to have the the trial, you know, uh, you know, happen again and everything like that. Uh, so uh, you know, um, so far from what I, you know, um, it's been pushed back. Um, and some people said it's not looking too great for him, you know. But um, you know, just when it come down to this situation, everybody who watched, you know, uh, you know, just kicking in, know how we feel about the whole situation. But what are your thoughts on Tory Lanez? You know, filing for an appeal and trying to get up out of there. You know, doing whatever he got to do to get. He even got a new lawyer and everything. So, what are your thoughts on this? You know, shit, bro, got kids. He trying to get up out of there. Ain't nobody trying to be in the pen. And you got daughters out here. You know what I'm saying? Without a dad and everything like that. And my thing is, shit. If he found guilty, then if, he, if he's found guilty this this next time, then sh he, he gonna have to sit down. You know what I'm saying? He a good artist, but bro, you know he going through the motions. Yeah, I mean, shoot, you right about that, man. What about you, bro? Me, I'm gonna say it again, like always, free my nigga Tory. You know what I'm saying? I hope you do it, do, do get out there. You know, get let, free that man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so this nigga get back to work. Uh, you know, I missed them uh, Tory Lanez tracks, man. You know, Tory Lanez go. You know, you're one of my favorite artists right now. So, yeah, free Tory, man. Man. Hope it goes through. Tory been one of the, you know, one of the, the best since he, he, he came out. You know, let's just be real. You know, Tory, Tory is one of the, you know, especially when it come down to singing rappers, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. He definitely one of the hardest, you know. But when it come down to Tory, I, I got, I, I, look, I love Tory music. I love Tory as an artist. You know, Tory is, is, is the truth. But I will always say, man, Tory made a lot of mistakes when it came down to a lot of the the, the stuff that um you know dealing with Meg the Stallion. He made a lot of dumb ass mistakes, you know. That's why he in this situation in the first place, man. You know, uh, I know we're talking about the appeal, but I have to like stretch that every time we talk, you know, about this because men need to know, like, if you want to see how to do stuff the wrong way, look at the whole situation with Tory Lanez and Meg the Stallion. I'm talking about from the 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 time he stepped foot. Up in Kylie Jenner house to the time that he got put in jail to the time he was in jail, what he did in there to when he got out and how he reacted to the whole situation. Yep. If you want to know how to make dumb mistakes, men, look at Tory Lane's 101. All right. With how he handled the make the style situation. This have nothing to do with any towards dislike towards Tory. Like I say, and I'll speak it day and night. 
I got none but love for Tory Lanez and his music as an artist and everything like that. In fact, Tory Lanez seemed like the type of cat that if Tory Lanez turn, we'll, we'll kick it with a nigga like you know what I'm saying like Tory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he seemed like yeah. that type of dude. You cool know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I just think that he made a lot of dumb dumb mistakes, and I could tell he didn't have OGs around him. You know, that's that's what's wrong with a lot of cats nowadays. They don't got OGs around them. Young cats need OGs around them to tell them how to move. Yeah, for real. Man, that's bro, my, like that's the problem. I, I lock in with. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga got on my ass yesterday. Then there made me cry, nigga. Man, I mean, it's real. <laughs> it's real. real. Shit. You, need, you need people around you who going who gonna to push you, who going to, you know what I'm saying? You know, let you know it's real. You know, me me and the bro, it's my little bro. Love him. I take a bullet for him, whatever. But, bro, no, we get into it a lot, you know, just because I'm like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Listen, whatever it is, I'm just saying, we go back and forth a lot because it's love there. And because, you know, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, I'm like, nah, I, I don't want to see him go out like that or whatever. I'm just saying at the end of the day, he need OGs around him to tell him what's it. What's it? You know, I, I mean, hopefully it ain't too late. Hopefully when he get out, he get to stay out here. He don't have to, you know, go back to Canada. Yeah. You know, if that happened, I mean, your life is still going on, but it's too late for this whole situation. You know, but he made a lot of dumb mistakes, man. So, but when it come down to the um, appeal, he got to appeal. He got to appeal. Yeah, he got to. You got to. I mean, anybody looking at that situation like, oh, man, why he appealing? You know, we still stuck on this. Yes, if I'm in life, I mean, if I'm in jail and it's my life, oh, I'm going to do whatever I got to do. So this should be expected by anybody looking at this what whole situation. Um, I don't, I don't, I think it is, I think, did they give the time already? I think it is like five, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. What, five years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five years. I'm like, they, like 25 you know, what? You know what? They haven't did the sentencing uh, yet. Oh, they, they have? Oh, it's not going to be 25. He ain't going to get that much. Uh -huh. That's the max. You know, but I don't. They're not gonna give him that. I think I always said I think it's gonna be somewhere between five to seven, and he's gonna serve about three. Yeah, yeah. You know, two and a half to three. That's what I think it's gonna be. Yeah, they ain't gonna give him that. You know, because it, the things that he was convicted of, it's not like he was convicted of like an attempted murder or anything like that. Or it was none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's gonna be five to seven. He served two, two and a half to three. He he out of there. Yeah. But, I Huh? I was about to say, I heard that new lawyer he got though. He's spending the bag on him too every month, like I think like a hundred, two hundred thousand or some shit like that. Oh yeah, you know who the yeah. lawyer is though, right? Who the the lawyer who represented um um uh ah uh, what's that girl name who they was accusing of killing um um her uh her daughter or whatever like you know uh mm -hmm. what was that story um yeah. ah man you know hey Big Don if you could find the name of uh. His, and his name is Jose uh, By Byers or something like that. His new mm -hmm. lawyer, but um, the 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 woman that he I was just even watching a documentary on her, you know. But um, you know, uh, uh, she was accused of killing her daughter. And he got her off, you know, mm -hmm. and everything like that. So uh, so yeah, you know, he got that same lawyer. He's a great lawyer. He was a, he a lawyer for Florida and everything like that. So I mean, who knows what can happen? Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, I think it was a lot of loose ends on his whole story, anyways. And I believe. Tori's telling a little truth, maybe a little lies. Meg telling a little truth, a little lies, and probably uh, the, the friend telling a little truth, a little lies. So somewhere in the mix of that, I believe it's a lot of stuff that they could probably bring back, you know, to a trial, and and, and maybe you'll have a different outcome. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? You know, uh, uh, but but I guess we'll see, man. We'll see what happened with that whole situation, man. But but yeah, you know, shout out to Tori, Jose Baez. But but do, do it say who he represented? What was? Oh, he did Aaron Hernandez, but it was somebody else. It was her Aaron Hernandez. Who? What was the girl name in Florida who he represented for? Casey Anthony. Oh, there we go. Casey Anthony. Remember, like the whole world was talking about that story. Yeah. Casey Anthony. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. She even got a documentary out. So that's when he became known, representing her and help help her beat that trial. Mm. And everybody felt like she was guilty. Jose Baez is good for. Taking cases to where everybody feel like that person is guilty, and he get them off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Johnny so Johnny Cochran, yeah, basically. <laughs> know Johnny you know what I'm saying? Because Johnny Cochran would take those type of cases man, too. But for uh, real. but yeah, again, man, shout out to Tory, man. Hey, at this table, like I say, we be real. We about the coach. We about you know, you know. Hey, it is what it is. So when it come down to it, we we rep Tory, man. So hey, shout out to Tory, man. I hope you do get out soon, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anything else on that, bro? No, nah, we can move on. All right, all right, so uh, now we're going to get into uh, the BTB Savage situation. So BTB Savage, uh, uh, alleged killer, uh, have been, um, you know, captured and everything like that. So just to go into it a little bit, a man accused of fatally shooting San Antonio-based rapper BTB Savage 
late last month in Houston, was arrested early Tuesday and had his bail set at one million, according to Harris County court records, which described the killing as gang related retaliation. Montro Burley, 40 of New Broadfields, man, nigga, I was like, 40 year old dude, like, I'd be like, man, what you doing? <laughs> Has been charged with murder. Uh, in the March 30th, 30th shooting uh, death of Darrell Gentry, 26, who rapped under the name BTB Savage and had recently been staying in a short-term rental in Houston. Uh, court documents show, in the day and hours leading up to his shooting near the intersection of Mild Lane and San Felipe Street in River Oaks, Gentry had talked in a YouTube video and made a social media post about his involvement in the February 3rd shooting death of Omar Richardson in San Antonio, where police determined that Gentry and his then-girlfriend acted in self-defense and no criminal charges were filed according to a probable cause affidavit filed in Harris County Court. Uh, coordination between police in Houston, New Broadfields, and San Antonio, along with a statement to detectives allegedly made by Burley's fiance revealed that Burley was close friends with Richardson. That's the one who was shot and, um, you know, killed by um, BTB. As they, uh, well, BTB girl. As they were original members of San Antonio's sixth gang that branched into Bloodstone Villains, or BSV, according to court documents. All right, uh, I, I'll stop right there with it, you know, and everything. So, uh, you know, thoughts, uh, jump up in this whack? Shit. Bro, look worried like a motherfucker on a picture, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, shit, you just sat there and, 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 you know, I mean, I get it, you know what I'm saying? You want to retaliate because your homie got killed, you know what I'm saying? I get it, but shit, now you're going to have to live with that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, Straight yeah. up. Yeah, nah. Because he could just caught the fade or whatever the case may be or, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Niggas got to have a, a plan B. Stop yeah. going for plan A all the time. I'm, I'm just going to go over here and, and knock this nigga down. Yeah. So now what? You going to be sitting in the pen the rest of your life? Nigga, just go over there and, you know, draw down on the nigga, beat the nigga up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning that, but that would be my plan B. We're yeah, going to pull up on him. We're just going to beat him up, bro. Yeah. Fuck it. We ain't, you know what I mean? But it's on some gang shit, so you already know how that shit go. Man, facts, man, facts. What's your thoughts on it, bro? Yeah, man. Damn, that nigga crazy, man. But, uh, shit, I mean, you know, I mean, I heard he, I mean, I heard he, did, he did like an RP song too, right? For his boy that died. Heard yeah, about I that. Hear about that. Yeah, yeah, heard about that, man. So, man, he, I, I, I see. It. He just really wanted to take that nigga head off, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it's really from that uh, DJ Vlad interview too, in the pictures. You know, so I think that probably would kind of like boost him up to be like, nah, man, this nigga got to go. You know, but uh, I heard he's still on the run. Nah, they caught him. Oh, they caught they him. Caught, they caught him. Cause Cause I heard they yeah. caught him, and they then they let him go in 72 hours, and then now he's on the run. Nah, they caught him. They, oh, they he, caught him. He, he got a million dollar bill right now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, that's crazy, man. But uh, shit, I mean, he 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 knew what was gonna come with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, he murdered the dude broad daylight. I mean, yeah, bro, like he already know what was coming. Yeah, <laughs> that's facts. That's so I know facts. he was prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's, that's facts. That's facts. I mean, I was looking at the situation like, bro, like you 40 though, man. Like, I, I get it, but it's like, bro, you 40 you years too grown. Old. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably, I don't know if you got kids or whatever, but it's like, come on, bro. Like, this is a young little nigga. And at the end of the day, I get all of the stuff that happened and that came with it and all of it, but it's like, bro, this is a young little nigga. You already know. Think about where your head was at at that yeah, time. You yeah. 40 years old. And like you said, bro, which it makes a lot of sense. Hey, if you got to go put hands on them, go put hands go on them. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? But you know what was going to happen. You 40. You probably, you're going to be in jail probably the rest of your life. You're 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go, you get, you, 20, you in there. Life, you in there. You know like what that. I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I know that's your boy, but at the end of the day, you basically, you know, took a life sentence, you know, basically for your boy's life. Yeah. I mean, you know, a life for a crazy. life. A life for a life. Straight up, man. You know? But like I said, also, I still feel the same way I feel about this situation when it comes down to BTB. I put myself in that situation. And I, and, I, and I say, and I feel like this 100%. I can't tell you how I will feel in a quick second if I see somebody up there taunting my peoples after taking them out. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how I'm going to feel in that second. I can't tell you how I'm going to feel for the next couple of days. I can't tell you how I'm going to feel in a week. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said BTB should have got up out of there. Because if you you just have to let that situation die down. No. That's all you have to do. Let it die down. If you wanted to come back to Houston later or San Antonio later, whatever, come back later. But let it die down, bro. You every day doing something different. You online talking about this every day. You on Vlad. 
You know what I'm saying? You putting out videos and stuff like that. And the dudes, that right there, man, that that I've never saw nothing like that before. I, that to me probably was like the last straw. Well, Sharing it's about when he was sharing all the pictures and all that other shit in the yeah. blood. Oh, yeah, you're doing blood. too much, bro. That bro, that's crazy. what I'm saying. Like, I'm think I tr I put myself in that position. I'm like, bro, if that's my bro, if that's one of my boys, if that was and I saw that, yeah, I, if, in that crazy. quick second, if I got somebody telling me where he at, I'm probably getting the homies, I'm getting a couple of, or probably even go by myself. Who knows? Yeah. Because I'm, you know, and I'm like, what you, what, what, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and like I said, it was. Allegedly, you know, it was said that the other side talked to BTB's people <laughs> before the Vlad interview and all that and said, hey, take it as a dub, bro. Like, you know, understood. He tried to rob you. It is, yeah, what, it it is. is what it is. That That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is, but that's what I heard. But then, like I said, you got the bad Vlad interview and then you got the pictures and the, all of his other type of stuff. And his mother said, well, they was telling him, well, guess what? We didn't see that. Whatever was happening on the back end, he should have did what he did on the back end and got out of there. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is 100% BTB fault. Dude who did it, you got to face your consequences from it, though. Yeah, for real. But nah, this is 100% on BTB. He could still be alive today if he didn't do none of that bull crap, yeah, but bro. But nigga want to do all that shit for the cat, nigga. You Period. know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't kill somebody or your girl killed somebody, but you didn't do nothing. You yeah. just Your girl did that. So yeah. are you even going to go to uh, take a murder that you didn't even, you know what I'm saying? This was just weird, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I feel like you're right too, bro. About that, about like they probably did kind of hashed it out, but him doing that interview, uh, pretty much like just put fire on, put fire on it because um, I heard that same day did the Vlad interview, he actually ran out the uh the car, the car that yeah he used to do the drive by in, you know what I'm saying on BTV uh, Savage. So mm -hmm. it's like, so maybe yeah, that interview probably just yeah, you know what I'm saying, spiked him up like yeah, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, all right, that's how it's gonna be. Like you wanna. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so fuck it. I'm going to go rent in the car as it's on, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, real uh, talk. Real yeah, talk. Yeah. You know? And, and that's what's wrong with our culture, man. We got to talk about these things more, man. We got, man, it's black men. And, you know, we all had it at one point in time if we don't have it now. But we got to really check our ego and pride, man, as black men, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, BTB, too much pride. Too much ego. Vlad straight up on there telling them. You know, like, hey, you know, it's a check. They could come back, you know, yeah. and everything. He's like, all right, they, you know, they probably will. He got family and everything like that, but I'll be ready. They ain't got no money. They broke. Bro, you don't got to have money to kick. You don't got to have money to do a murder. All you got to do is either have a piece or have somebody around you got a piece, you know, and, and dudes from a gang. You know what I'm saying? So you got a lot of homies who probably got pieces ready. Yeah, you know his, what I'm saying? Brought their cell phone and everything to the, to the scene. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, that's that to me is just one thing that we got. We got to use this these Tory Lane situations, BTB situations. We got to use situations like this and, and, and really, really have conversations about them and also learn from them as well, man. Like this was the dumb. This is dumb, bro. This dude will still be here. All he had to do was after he got out of the hospital, got out of there he'll still be here today if you want to do videos go do videos wherever you at be in new mexico doing videos nigga. if it's that serious you get what i'm saying but to be in the same state doing all of that say oh niggas is broke man now you not here so whatever you had don't even matter in fact y'all your young homie was in your house trying to take all your money right after yeah. you got murdered so what was having money for for you it's it's nothing. Your mom didn't even get it. What? But we heard that you know he delivered that stuff back to his mother. You know, hopefully that really did happen. But you know what I'm saying? It's just a it's it's a stupid situation. I can't even sit here and say all the way it's sad. It is sad, but it's a stupid situation too. You know. But when it come down to you know the dude, I guess his name Omar, whatever. You know, uh, uh, in that whole situation of him getting caught, you got to face the consequences, yeah. man. You got you got to deal with it. You know. So. All right, tell me this know? though, bro. What you think, man? All right, cause. You know, supposedly, you know what I'm saying, after he did the Vlad interview, the dude ran out the car, you know what I'm saying, basically like, yeah, fuck it, I'm about to go get this nigga. And on top of that, off of doing that interview, that kind of was spiked him getting killed. So do you think that Vlad should pay for the interview? No. I mean, not, not for the interview, I mean for, uh, for the funeral? No. For the funeral? No. What do you think? No. Vlad don't have to do anything. No, because I heard he's on nothing another platform. They was talking Vlad about don't got to like, do nothing. That Vlad did his job. That's why I said to... It could sound crazy to the outside world and people out there and everything like that, but all I got to say about this Vlad situation is this. Vlad did his job great, and it showed how great Vlad is at what he do. 
because you're supposed to get the top story as a person who got a platform where you interview people. You're yeah. supposed to get the top story. Yeah. Just like when I said, when it come down to it, it, it was nothing against Vlad, but we had to get Shirley Jew on here. Of course. You know, she was one of the main interviewers on Vlad outside of Vlad. Yeah. You know, and I bet you Vlad understand that. You know what I'm saying? Vlad didn't interview uh, the, the killers of, of Michael Jordan's father. You know what I'm saying? He interviewed, you know, now BTB who ended up getting murdered. And there's probably many, many other people who've had an interview that either got murked or that got, got caught up in some situation. He's doing his job. It's up to the people to decide not to go on there. It's not up to Vlad. Vlad is about his bread. Vlad is a hustler. And I understand Vlad. I'm a businessman. I get it. Just like with Adam, I get it. Now, do they always do things right or in a business practices the best? I'm not going to say all of that. But I'm going to say, as a businessman, I respect Vlad, and Vlad did his job to a T. Yeah, yeah. That's not on Vlad, yeah. period, bro. I felt the same way, though, because nah. I felt like, you know what I'm saying? He don't got to do nothing. Yeah, they got a choice. I mean, BTV Savage, he had a choice to talk about it or not. So, I mean, I can't put that on Vlad where, okay, people should look at it like Vlad should have something to do with paying the funeral because, paying for his funeral because, like, he had something altercation. He had, he had a part in him getting murdered. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm oh, saying? Hell, like, yeah, that's the case. So, no, I heard that actually on DJ Academics channel. And that was that's stupid. Was talking yeah, that's about stupid. Debating, like, if, if, if they feel that stupid. way, bro, then they, then, they, then what? That means Channel Seven News reporters can't do every uh, can't interview nobody. They will get murked. 2020. 2020, motherfucker. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, yeah. Paul is on. You know, you got all these ID channel, all of these channels, man, that, that do top interviews and everything like that, man. Like, that's just a part of the game when it come down to it. Yeah. You could decide to do it or not do it. And, you know, academics, man, academics be just trying to cause controversy and conflict. I know at the end of the day, he would have did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Did of the course, same interview and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, 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 I get smart. Yeah, yeah. Strategic, you know, and all of that. I, I be knowing what he's doing by ruffle and felt. What do you think about this or whatever? But if you really act, act how he feel about that, I could be like, Vlad did a great job. Yeah, yeah for real. He did everything he needed to do. Yeah. He, his Smart. people heard about this story. They got him before anybody else got him right after that situation. Huh? Hey, he did what he needed to do. You know, so, nah, it ain't on Vlad. Smart. Not 1%, you know, even till right now. And, and people who was out there saying, well, Vlad should either take it down or give all the proceeds to his to his mother or whatever. For what? It would be nice, but do we have to? Hell no, no, hell no, he don't gotta do that. Why would he have to do that? Anybody who said that, you can also take a punch. Because at the end of the day, he don't gotta do nothing. He gave BTB an opportunity. To be real, it's an opportunity. BTB should have got out of there after that. Oh, because yeah. that started, that put him, he was up. That And then, you know, another thing I was saying was like, BTB could have been in New Mexico and did a Vlad interview. Yeah. You don't got to be there with Vlad. Yeah, 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 Vlad. You know what I'm saying? And Vlad, and Vlad travels too. You know what I'm saying? And Vlad also do interviews where he he gets just set up and everything. He's not there. Yeah. He's on on the other side of the camera, wherever yeah. he's at. You know, so you could have did that in so many ways and still been up. It just shows how another thing, what we were just talking about earlier, no OGs, man. Yeah, ain't nobody telling you how to No move. OGs around these cats. You know, he did have a friend who came out and said, I tried to talk to him, but a lot of times when a dude the same age as you or are, are not a yeah, little bit older or, or you don't recognize this dude as somebody you look up to, you're not going to listen all the time. So that's why I say OGs because no matter how much older the OG is, you look up to him. Yeah. You know, so right. you're going to pay attention to certain things that that person say. And I could tell he didn't have nobody like that around him just as much as Tory Lanez didn't have nobody like that around him. So it shows how important mentors, OGs, and stuff like that is. It's really a mentor, but you know, in our culture, we say OGs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to have OGs around you, man. You know what I'm saying? To make better decisions, man. But still, rest in, you know, rest in peace to, uh, you know, BTB. And um, you know, when it come down to Vlad, hey, I gotta be real. Keep doing your thing, Vlad. You getting the top interviews, you getting them. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, those people start to come here. You know, we do things a little different. When it come down to this culture, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We put on the culture the right way and everything. I'm not saying, Vlad, I'm just saying, we here. You know what I'm saying? Come come to your people and do it. But no matter what, Vlad doing what he got to do. Vlad, Vlad a hustler, and I respect him, straight up. You know what I'm saying? As a businessman, I respect him. I don't know him personally, but as a businessman, I respect him, you know? Anything else about this? Hell no. Nah, just it. motherfucking be smart what you post. Be smart what you say. Facts, facts, man. That's a fact, straight up, straight up. So uh, we just got a, a couple of more uh, topics before we go, because, you know, we got to jump into the the, the, the the top 25 out of 50, because, you know, that may take a little bit of a, a minute. But um, um we're going to jump into this next one. So uh, DJ Academics, he got bashed by, um you know, Ebro, Peter Rosenberg, and a lot of other people a part of the media uh, from Hot 97 and other platforms because he just joined um, Donald Trump platform Rumble. 
So um, he's bringing um, uh, academics, yeah, I heard about that. you know, over there and, and, and everything. Uh, and people are mad about it. People from our culture is very, very mad about this. So uh, I want to see uh, what y'all think about it. And we'll, we'll start with you first this time, bro. What you what you think about the situation? Shit, I don't think there's nothing wrong. I mean, what's wrong with Donald Trump? I don't see really see nothing wrong with Donald Trump to me. I mean, uh, you know, he... I don't see he's a good businessman for all I see. And, hey, during the COVID, I mean, he was blessing everybody with cash in their pockets. <laughs> There's a lot of people, a lot of niggas out there living very, very nice. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, you know, uh, I, I never really seen nothing wrong with Donald Trump like that. So, I mean, I don't know what's the problem, you know, with, with DJ Academics joining Bumble. I mean, so what? Who cares? Yeah, Rumble, yeah. Rumble, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. What's your thoughts on this? So the nigga do is just, is just do the same thing that Adam was trying to do to the homies at No Jumper, try to get all the information on it, about our culture and shit like that. So you know, if you want to go out there and, and spill all the beans and shit on a podcast that's not about the culture like that, you feel me? Then I guess go go do it if it's a money thing, or whatever. But hey, I'm not feeling it, bro. Like I mean, I, I get what he's doing, but I'm not feeling that, bro. Like, if you go get on the platform, you need to do your own shit or, or get with our culture, bro. Stop being on platforms with these other people that's not part of our culture and sitting here bashing us and sitting here giving them all our fucking information and what we got going on and all the other bullshit. They're not doing that shit with us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're not coming over here talking about their culture. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel you on that, you know. When it when it come down to this situation, I'm kind of like in the, in the middle of both of y'all. When it come down to it, it's like, would I, would I do something like that? Nah, I, I, probably for the most part because I like the independence. And um, if you if 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 you're gonna give a deal, you know, I, I would like more of a a more established platform like an Apple, Spotify, yeah. you know, places like that. You know what I'm saying? But on the other hand, nobody should tell academics or anybody how to do business. This is business at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, when it come down to it, you know, nobody. I'm gonna be real. The business that I run. Primarily 90% of the people who I partner up with on the business side of things in the corporate part of things are white. I, just to be real. You know, at the end of the day, when it comes down to getting that big bag, a lot of times you can't just do a deal with your people in your culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the people around you in your culture don't got the bag that you need. You know what I'm saying? And in order to make real moves in your in your in your culture and in your community, sometimes you gotta go over there and get that bag. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say Ak was wrong for going over to Rumble and getting that back. I don't know Ak, you know, plan. I don't know what, what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to do something strategically. He see, hey, if I do this deal for the next four or five years, I could then jump ship and go over here. I don't gotta stay over there. I don't know. I don't know the terms of his deal. I don't know what's in the contract. I don't know any of that. But at the end of the day, it's all business. It ain't like Ak saying for free. I'm going over here to do this. I'm going to partner up with him and do a collaboration just to do it. He's getting a nice bag. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Rumble is paying people like it ain't no the mall right now yeah. to come on their platform. So um, would I do it? I can't sit there and say I would do that. But act doing what he got to do is business. Hey, it is what it is. And, and, and for people out there that's just straight judging and not understanding that part, let you get in a business one day and you dealing with situations to put food on your people table and, and, and to help out your community and everything like that and see what you're going to do. You know, just like when it come down to it, let's not take away the fact or act blind to it that William got uh, 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 Wallow and Gilly did a deal at Barstool. I'm not saying they knew that this dude felt the way he felt about our community, but this is the dude who said Angel Reese was an idiot for um basically just doing the ring thing. To Caitlin Clark yeah. at the basketball game. I seen that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's the owner of Barstool. Gillian Wallow is over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and at the end of the day, I always say, look, I don't care what nobody say. You know if somebody got something in them that they feel of some sort. Social media now could tell us all of this about a person. So I, when it comes down to it, I don't even think Gillian Wallow was surprised about that situation. Mm -hmm. I think they just knew they had to say something. Because it's like, hey, the world is watching. Y'all over there on Barstool, say something to him. I think that's why they said something. I bet you when yeah. he said that, it was like, damn, now we got to say something. They wasn't, I don't even think they was looking at it like, oh, man, I feel this about this. We got to, man, we got to really, nah, I think that at the end of the day, Gilly, I was like, damn, we just, we got to say something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, it had to be that. we're going to look, yeah, we gonna look crazy if we don't, you know? But at the end of the day, if you are going to, you're going to do deals in business with people who you will not kick it with on an everyday basis if you really in business. 
Everybody got to start understanding that from our culture. This is why we losing. It's a lot of stuff that we don't do because of our freaking pride and we don't understand. That's why we got to have conversations about certain things. We got to separate business from personal. That's the only way. Why we are behind is because of financial issues, financial situations. Yeah. That's why we're behind. Our culture don't understand money. We talented. We smart. We know how to get bread, but we don't understand money. We don't understand how to create generational health. We don't understand how to build with each other. That's why we so far behind. We don't understand none of this shit. So to look at somebody trying to get ahead that come from our culture, that's not finding no other ways in our culture on how to get this back that's going to go and get that back for 10, whatever, 20 mil. Hey, salute the nigga. Hell yeah. Salute the nigga. Yeah, because I see it too, bro. You know what like, I'm saying? No matter what, I mean, look, the owners of Facebook, white. Instagram, white. YouTube, white. I mean, no matter what, if we want a bag, we got to do what we have to do. You feel me? I mean, it ain't necessarily saying that, oh, uh, we want to kick it with them. And, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, this is the person we look up to. I mean, it's just about just, just trying to get a bag. You feel me? We got to get to levels where, you know, we can do things ourselves and on our, our own type of, you know, platforms and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But to get there, we got to take them steps. You feel me? So, yeah. yeah and I, and I understand too. people may be saying that because it's Donald Trump. You know, so I get that part, probably but that's Donald when Trump. I say let your, yeah, let your feelings yeah, all go. Oh, you going over this there to be with a racist. Yeah, yeah, this is we, business. We knew the niggas racist. You know, when it come down to it, let you got you got to when it come down I'm going to tell everybody this one time and you better really pay attention to it. When it come down to business, totally 100% drop your feelings. Mm -hmm. You cannot have feelings in business. You will lose every damn time. You cannot involve Feelings in business. If you can't handle it, go work a nine to five and stay in that direction because it's a totally different world when now you out there independent and you got to do deals because that's the only way you're going to put food on your family table. If you don't understand that, stay out of it because you cannot involve those type of things in that world. You will get clipped in a second and now be broke living in your car, not knowing how you're going to get the next, you know, uh, 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 bag, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that. So when it comes down to it, we just got to start to understand business is different from personal. If somebody's getting a bag and getting that money, hey, support them. You know, think about this, and I'm going to put it out there and say it. Ebro, Peter Rosenberg, a lot of other people were saying stuff about them. They're working on platforms for other people. Yep. And academics is independent. He made his own opportunities. He created his own ways when it come down to where he's at. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it come down to Ebro and them, hey, to me it looked like hate. Because you can't get a bag like Ak. I don't care what Ebro say. You can't get a bag like academics, bro. You work for a company. You can never get a bag like Ak. Peter Rosenberg, you can never get a bag like Ak. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, you hating. Yeah, straight up. You know? So that's what I say. And he's supposed to be the OG. That's another thing. See, these are, to, to me, that's a bad representation of an OG. And to me, I, 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 a lot of things Ebro do, I'm like, okay, that's, that's a good move. Ebro giving some game. But this is a bad representation of an OG. Ebro coming out and saying this. Creating conflict again when it comes down to our culture dealing with business and everything like that. Nah, you should stand with him say, hey, I may not have did it, but congrats, bro. Yeah. Congrats, bro. It's I may not have did it, but congrats, you know? You know, you we, we got to stop going against each other like this off of stupid crap, yeah. you know? So, I mean, hey, I, 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 hey, at the end of the day, if I see a black man get in the bag, hey, I'm going to support him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to create more opportunities for us to get bags together. Yeah. And, and that's what it is when it comes down to that. So, anything else about this situation? And then you don't know what act is using this platform for. He probably using this to... to do this for a couple of years and then go go get a bigger building or get a bigger setup and do his own thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit here and bash the man for going to go play for the motherfucking Lakers in the next couple of years. He's going to go play for the motherfucking uh, Jazz. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, bro. At the end of the day, that's, that's, that's what I was basically saying. You know, like, you know, you just never know what he's doing it for. But at the end of the day, it's business, man. Yeah, it's business, bro. Yeah, it's so, business. you know, you know, it is what it is. You know, shout out to Act, man. Hey, Donald Trump, give us a bag. Shout we'll out take to it act. too. That, that's why I say it, 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 it all depends on, uh, I mean, I, I look at it like this when it comes down to anybody, when it comes down to a, a, a deal. Because for one, nobody going to come over here and, 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 and fuck no, nothing over, over this way because 
a lot of people that's in this game don't understand business. I got in this as a businessman. I understand it to the fullest. So I don't care if it's Donald Trump. I don't care if it's Apple, Spotify. I don't give a damn who it is. It's about the contract. It's about the terms. Yeah, terms. And it's about when it comes down to a, what is the bag looking like. And the percentages. It's a lot that come down to situations when it comes down to dealing with business with anybody. So it don't really matter who it is. Donald Trump, whoever. That part don't really matter. It's, is it worth it? How do the contract look? And should this be something that, you know, uh, uh, you know, move forward with and everything? So it's a lot that comes with it. The contract and everything just probably look like tack. And that's all that matters, you know, at the end of the day. So, so yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on and move to the uh, the next thing. So um, they did a, um, a top hip-hop media uh, power ranking influencers, uh, you know, and they, they – I would just show the top ten. But um, these are people who, you know, have their own platforms and everything like that, um, you know, who got their own podcast. You know, they they are influencers on social media and, and, and all of that. Um, so we, we'll just show like uh, that's the picture of, you know, I don't even see um, uh, uh, Joe Budden on they that They missing pick. somebody on there. Yeah, they missing a couple of people. They missing that boy that's Paul P on that's just, that's just, man, that's, man, it, it, <laughs> they, they, gonna, they, gonna know, they, they gonna know what's up in a minute. But um, when it come down to the... Uh, the the top ten. I want to just uh, go over. Uh, oh, there we go. Appreciate it. Look, big big. That's, hey, shout out to Big Don. Everybody say, hey, hey, I, hey in the chat. I want y'all to write, man. Do your thing, Big Don. Welcome back. You know what? Put welcome back, Big Don. I want y'all to write that up in the chat, man. Big Don is already on his game. Look at that. All right. So the top ten. Who they got? They got Joe Budden up there. They got academics. Charlemagne, Gillo and Wallow, Gillian Wallow, Nori, uh, Kai Sennett, uh Carisha. Elliot Wilson, Vlad, and Math Hoffa. Um, what are y'all thoughts on the list? Uh, they got Vlad at nine. They got Vlad at nine. Well, yeah, I had to switch it up if it yeah. was my list, actually, because uh, I don't agree with the Joe Button being number one. Yeah, fuck Joe Button. I think it should have been either <laughs> Academics or Charlemagne, to be honest. Yeah, what number would you put, Joe? I put Joe at number three. Like I said, okay. Charlemagne or I, Academics. I mean, you were saying it like you wouldn't have him on the list. I'm no, like, I'm saying I, I okay. would put him as number one. Okay. I said I'll okay. put him as, yeah, number three. Like DJ Academics and Charlemagne, they should be at the – it, it could go wrong, I mean, with them either one or two, you know, with Charlemagne or, or DJ Academics. But uh, Joe Budden, number three. Uh, Vlad should be number four. That's for, that's for sure. Vlad should be number four. Uh, Nori, I'll give him number five. Uh, Matt Hoffer, I give him six. Uh, then I move into like, yeah, putting like, uh, Elliot Wilson, number seven, you know, uh, Gillian Waddle, number eight, and uh, K, uh, number nine, and the last but not least would be, uh, who we missing? Carisha. Carisha, yeah, Carisha, there we go, yeah. You know, no, no disrespect to, uh, no disrespect at all. You know, to uh, Carisha because I think that you know, starting off, she's doing yeah. some cool she things. Did. Um, but um, I wouldn't have her in on top ten. Nah, nah, nah. you she know, nah. You game. know what I'm saying? I would even, even though he's going in a bad direction and and everything like that, he was number twenty. But I would even put Adam in front of her. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you know, oh, while yeah. we're talking about the longevity of your platform as yep. well, and she haven't even been up a I year, I don't think. Adam. But um, uh, what do you think about it, Sweat? Sure, I'm gonna put uh, Gilly or uh, Charlemagne, one or two, you know, academics. Like my top five academics. Well, my, my top, just the top five. Uh, I put, I put uh, academics probably at the top. Charlemagne, two, Gilly, three. You know what I'm saying? Nori. Then bring v Vlad up to five. Yeah. Everybody else at the bottom. So, let me tell you why I would have Joe at number one. The reason why I would have Joe at number one is because. I, I want I want I want people to understand. For one, Joe been in the game for a long time, and um, even when it come down, I don't know if y'all used to watch that show that Ack and Joe was on, yeah, um, um Everyday Struggle. Yeah. That would not have been a show without Joe starting that show off. You know what I'm saying? Like the energy Joe brought to that show. So we got to see how Ack and Joe worked together and who was like the top on that show and who was like yeah. you know if you put them in the same room, who's gonna control that room? And the majority of the time it was Joe Budden always controlling that room. And also, too, you got to think about what Joe did. Joe was able to go through everybody trying to cancel him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 losing the, 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 the relationship and, 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 you know, the podcast he had with um, his other two boys at his other two homies. And it get even better. That don't even that's not even real. 
we see what's going on with Adam, right? He, he finding out right now, I, I don't know how I'm going to get this back up. Yeah, yeah. Joe, without missing a beat, was able to do it because Joe know how to control a room no matter who's in that room. You know, that's that's special. Everybody can see act. Is, act sits by itself. It's no Act's not competing with nobody. You get what I'm saying? Act is just act. Act been in the game for a long time. I respect Act and everything like that. I'll have it one, two, just like that. Joe Act. And um, I probably would have Vlad in front of Charlemagne. I probably would even have Math in front of Charlemagne. Only because, to me, Charlemagne, the last couple of years have took a back step. You know, because Charlemagne ain't as explosive with things that he say anymore. You know, Charlemagne kind of is more agreeable now. Yeah. And Charlemagne was never agreeable in the past. Really, so if you you talking about 2017, 18, you know, 19 Charlemagne, oh, he's he's probably number one. You know what I'm saying? Like sitting down with Birdman and, 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 and you know, the conversation he had with, with, with uh, 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 what's his name? Not, not, um, I, I, I forgot, not Freeway, but, uh, uh, what's, what's, What's what's the other one else with Rockefeller? I always forget his not not Fruit. Jay Z. No no. Oh David nah. Dash. No no not Dash. Uh um uh, um. Beanie Singles. Beanie Singles. Beanie there Singles. we go. Like the conversation Pressed he had ass. with Beanie, and he was pressed like that's 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 a man. That that's how you do it. That's an influencer. That's the that, Charlemagne did his thing. You know when it came down to sitting with people back in the days, man. So back in the day, Charlemagne is number one on this list. Now Charlemagne, I put him probably number four after Vlad. Uh, yeah. Probably even number five after Math Hoffa, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that. But um, but yeah, I definitely agree with Joe. Uh, number one, I wouldn't have Carisha on this list. Um, I probably would have Gillian Wallow, Gillian Wallow more at number ten because when I'm looking at this list, I'm thinking of people who can also speak. Um, uh, when it comes down to speaking about things that's gonna really uh transform uh the community and say things that are powerful. I'm not saying. Uh, 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 Gillian Wallow don't, especially uh, Wallow, because Wallow be having a message with, yeah. you know, where he come from and everything yeah. like that. But I just need to see more of that. For me, I need to see more of that from from Gillian Wallow. You know, we see a lot of that from Joe, um, academics, uh, uh, even at times Charlemagne, you know, uh, and everything like that. And the reason why I say Vlad and Math Hoffa is because these dudes, their their interview techniques and the people that they have brought to their platforms is people who you would never ever think about. That's a part of the culture, even sometimes outside of the culture with Vlad, but people you would never think about. You know, it's typical when it comes down to like, let's be real, the people who Nori or uh, Gillian Wallow, who they're talking to, is typical. It's the typical people, you know, who are in a game, you got relationships, you're gonna get them to sit down with you. It's typical, you get what I'm saying? But Vlad, the people he interviewed, you would never expect that. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a way, Matt Hoffa put together his platform, you know, the barbershop little style, and they, it's like they really just chopping it up, sitting at home, kicking it. I love that. You know what I'm saying? So he he brought that out, man. So, you know, that that would be that would be my list. Joe 1, Act 2, uh, uh, Vlad 3, Matt Hoffa 4, uh, 5, um, uh, Charlemagne. Then I'll probably go Nori maybe after that. Then I'll go probably Kai. Uh, then maybe Elliot Wilson, and then uh, I don't know if I I, I I just said I will put Adam before Carisha, but I gotta see who else is on this list. Um, I wouldn't have neither one of them at number ten. I gotta just see the rest of the list. You know what I'm saying and everything like that. But um, uh, but yeah, you know, hey, you what know, I'm saying? actually should be number ten though, bro. Who? The sophomore in the belly, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, no, this bro. Is, this they, is they hip hop some... culture. This oh, hip hop yeah, culture. Okay, yeah. hell yeah, we going mm -hmm. that route. I feel it. Yeah, hip hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. So. But yeah, but yeah, straight up, give it, give it a year, Swaggy. You know what I'm saying? They go, they they go. Is I'm gonna be on that bro list, be and when there. it come down to the top podcast, bro, nigga, we gonna be number one. Nigga, what, what? Ain't that right, Big Don? Ain't that right? Hell Jeez. yeah! You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. Shoot, we there, we in there like swimwear. You know what I'm saying? So everybody better go on and get your little shine and all that right now. Get it all out your system. Feel good about yourself, cause we coming, baby. We coming, but um, but I, I I like I like that they now have lists like this out. It's showing respect to like, you know, the social media game. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, back then we was used to seeing just the rap lists like this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And everything. You know now and and, and sports and lists and everything. Yeah. Now we starting to see the social media list. So that's great, man. It, it, it makes you look forward towards the future, man, and everything. You know, yeah. and, and showing that this this field is getting respect, which it should, because most people are gonna get game. 
from from those individuals. Most people are going to get game from the platforms. You know what I'm saying? Not the sports players, uh, not the uh, the uh, the even the artists. You know, it's people who are sitting down talking and talking, having conversations yeah. with everybody. You know, so shout out to all of them, though, man. Everybody who made the list, man. Shout out to all of them, straight up, no matter what. All right, uh, we got one more. Uh, 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 Ty, we'll just we'll just jump up into it real quick. Nothing crazy, but I don't know if y'all saw Cameron basically went viral for uh you know <laughs> for talking about the Michael B Jordan and uh yeah. Jonathan Majors picture yeah. you know what i'm saying and everything uh, uh people are now bashing camera you know the yeah. lbgtq community and all of that you know uh so i had to say <laughs> i see i mean that picture was wild though but i got i see what y'all think about it. Kill a cam, the homie. Kill a cam. Bro, when I see that but, picture, um, bro, I said that right to you. Oh like, man, Every there you go. Yeah, there it is, bro. Oh my god. Oh man, I don't know. What you think, bro? What you think? That's crazy. Just seeing that, bro. I like, said that to people that actually knew him. I'm gonna just tell you this right now, bro. And they said it was like, bro, I already knew that. You late, like you know what I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying. But uh, that's crazy, man. I, yeah, when I seen that. that, it was hard for me to look at it, bro. When I first seen that, <laughs> man, and uh, damn, because you know Michael B. You know a lot of cats out here looking up to him, especially as an actor, man. He's a good actor, bro. I looked up to him. You feel me? Because you know well, well, he's he's with the he's with the uh, with the uh, uh, yeah he's with that. I don't know, bro. We that, don't I, know. Look, look, that's why I separate. I air? separate. <laughs> You know, the actor, artist, whatever, I separate that from personal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, this don't look good. This don't look right. He don't you know look happy at all. He like, get this nigga. It don't look what, right. What, what dude would do I mean, a picture like that? You feel me? <laughs> get this nigga. It's off. only because of one reason. Like, you got feelings towards another person. You know what I'm saying? In a in a close way. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, you know how to say it, but you know, it's one thing giving your homies hugs, but it's, it's another crazy. thing bracing your homie yeah. from, the, from the backside and taking a picture. That's a whole oh, different. Man. Yeah, like, see what you I mean? better not take no picture like that with me. Oh, so, exactly. It don't maybe maybe, maybe one arm like this. That's my like. This is my guy. Look, yeah, but yeah. not the. Yeah, nigga, that's 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 for the females. Yeah, yeah, that's like a old school nineteen ninety uh early two thousand pick when you go take it at the mall with your girl and she behind you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. The, that's what that look like. Yeah, yeah. And if you are gonna do a picture like that, don't make it go public. Like you know, for them to let it go public and not give a fuck about it, it's like, all right, y'all ones really trying to send a message out there to the world. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what makes me think like that. Like, all right, they trying to send a message. They trying to slowly. Come out the closet. I don't. I don't know. But why I got always got to be know. us though. I don't, why I always got to be a black know. man. Just, just to be real, bro. That that picture made me want to throw up. Bro. Yeah, what, what, I, can't, yeah. I, I can't even lie. Yeah. You know, like like when 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 Cameron came out with saying what he said, I was like, yeah, Cam gonna get bashed. But he, I'm like, he, he keeping it one hundred. But I'm like, at the end of the day, man, when it come true. down man, to it, the fuck. All real niggas gonna look at it the same damn yeah. way. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, like it is what, like, like what, what? What? Look, LGBTQ. No disrespect to anyone out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, yeah, I got just thinking about it. Maybe I already hold my stomach, but LGBTQ. No matter who out there, right? I'm sorry to tell y'all. All real niggas look at it the same way that Killer Cam looked at yeah. it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Facts. They may not be saying it. You know, you're going to have people that celebrities and all that, like, yeah, no comment or, oh, you know, whatever, trying to, like, keep it cool. But they all feel the same way Caramon feel. Caramon just came out and said it. They, he just said it. But you think that Michael B, people, his peers and stuff in the industry are not probably looking at him a little funny now? Yeah. And Jonathan Majors a little funny? Well, they've been looking at Jonathan Majors funny, like, when he from, from came Majors. out with that little pink yep. picture yep. with his legs crossed like a woman and all of that. You know what I'm saying? These dudes <laughs> on some other stuff. But when it come down to it, hey, shout out to Killer Kale, man, because you just being real. And I respect his realness when it come down to it. Yeah, we're going to come over here and be real, too. But Cameron is a big, well-known celebrity in the game. Everybody know Killer Cam. And I respect him for being just real about it. Like, bro, that ain't the way you're supposed to be moving. Hell no. You know? And I and I hate when people sit there and say, well, you know they're in the game, so they got to do what they got to do. No, I ain't saw Denzel ever do no shit like that. Never. Nope. Never. Nah, Denzel nope. ain't never played no roles like that. Never. Ever saw Denzel do nothing like that. So never. what are we talking about? What are we talking about when we say, oh, they got to do what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's the part of the game they make. No, no, bro, you could still be one of the best and never do nothing like that. I don't know, man. What is it just it, uh, Terry Crews. Look at Terry Crews how he was, how he got on that shit. He like, bro, I'm not with none of that. And they yeah, got at, they got mad at him. Yeah, they got mad at him. You know, uh, but you know, Terry Crews and then accepted some stuff too. You know, like he let 
You know what I'm saying? Well, he was trying to get in the game. He let, that's a whole nother story. But according to that situation, he just came out with it, but he let them do and get away with stuff that he didn't want them to get to for them to do, yeah. you know, and everything. You know, he and he came out and talked about it, you know, and everything like that. But when it come down to this, I'm not going to lie. And I'm a big fan of Michael B. I'm a big fan yeah, of Michael I B. But, but it's yeah. but it's like I already seen it. It's like it's like it's like it make it make you want to like think about watching this next movie, bro. I'm good off of that. It make you think about it like, dang, bro. Like, am I supporting? You know what I'm saying? What am I supporting right now? I don't really know what's going on. You know what it and makes it me sucks. think too, bro. You know, <clears throat> but but we never saw him with no. We never saw him with no with no dude. You know, we see him with yeah. the girl. You know, he he be with. You know, he had, he was he was he was with homegirl. What, what what's her name on the Lori uh, Harvey? Lori Harvey. You know what I'm saying? And he always got a bad one. So you know, he's into the women. You know, so it's it's, it's confusing, bro. I mean, but it also makes me think like, what's the real reason why Lori Harvey left? Maybe she's keeping it secret. I don't know that she knows something about Michael B. Hopefully that we don't. not, man. Hopefully not, bro. It makes me think like that too. Like a lot of thoughts came to me, bro, when I seen that picture. I'm like, damn. I start really thinking like, damn. Why did Lori Harvey really leave? Like, it make no sense her leaving anyway. So was it because she knows something that we don't know? And that's just who he is? So she had to go her separate way? I don't know. Like, why got to be <laughs> us, man, that's doing some weird stuff, bro? It's always us and our culture doing some the weird Hollywood stuff, Hollywood life, bro. bro. The always Hollywood us doing life. some weird stuff. It make you say, like, we're the real ones at, though, man. Like, why, why, why we got to be the ones that got weirdos in our culture? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. And then everybody getting mad at Cam. No, Cam is being real. All these bro. women who get on Cam know they would never want to be with no nigga like that. What would any of these girls out here think, right? If the dude that they with right now, he got pictures come out with him on top of another dude like this, leg all up and all of that. Oh, yeah. They going to be like, who am I with? Why y'all getting mad at Cam because he calling it out? He's speaking on some real stuff. Why y'all getting mad at Cam? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't get that part. Everybody getting mad at Cam. Nah, Cam is being real is what we all feel. I can't think of a dude who don't feel that way. It's, just, oh, man, it's crazy, man. We can move over this. Anything yeah. more about this? Man? This yeah, we is a crazy you, situation, bro. bro. Fuck Creed. You know, yeah, this is... Dang, it it is, it's even whack. It's even hurt. Like even here, it's like man, it was a good movie like, too, and I seen bro. it, bro. And it, it was dope. And but they should be hiding shit. these type of like, bro. Why you even let? How you even let? How did this come out? Like what? How do y'all even let the photographer stop that? That's like, what like, I'm saying, like, bro. Like, I think like, what was to, in your mind? They pushing that, that to issue. let the bro, photographer snap that photo. I think they wanted it to come out. Ah, that's what I'm thinking. It, bro, they ain't. Nah, bro. Come on, they I, I too big in the game, bro. I, think, not, I don't think Mike. I, I got just, too I, much money. I just can't see Michael is cool with knowing that that picture. I just got it. I just think in my head like Mike ain't down with it. Jonathan seemed like he down because he didn't put out other pictures. You saw that contract, but you it's like anything. Mike don't need it. He don't need it. He Michael B. He didn't need it. He was already where you know he got where he got without doing none of that stuff. So it's like it's hard to sit here and feel like Mike knew that it was gonna come out like that. Clear it up, Mike. Hey, anybody who looking at this, I want you to cut this clip. Cut it right now. Or cut it when it's over. And I want y'all to send it to Mike. And I want Mike to know, clear that shit up, Mike. Clear it up. Like, go do a statement. Go say something. Go address. Even if it's just addressing the niggas. Even if it's just addressing us. Like, hey, no, I, no I'm no, i I'm good. I, you know, I ain't with all, all that. that. Who you is, know what I'm saying? Bro. Forget it. I, no, no, it's not who he is. At the end of the day, Mike, you need to address this shit, Mike. You need to. If Mike don't address, Mike, you got 90 days. Michael B. Jordan got 90 days. If Michael B. Jordan don't address this in 90 days, I will never watch a Michael B. Jordan movie again. On life. No cap. No cap. I will never. I'm done. And I hate saying that because I love Michael B. Jordan movies. But I'm done. I'm done, bro. I can't. I can't. After that, I can't. You know what I'm saying? So his name is Michael D. Jordan. So you got 90 days, Mike. Hey, let <laughs> Michael know. Let Michael know. 90 days. Oh shit! I'm on that heat 90 right. days. All right. Everybody, Jeez. let hey go push that. Go to his Instagram, whatever. 90 day, right? 90 days. All right. And we'll see what happened in 90 days, man. So if you don't come out, bro, you say you done with him. Bro, I can't. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Yeah. I can't, bro. I can't. It ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel right about that. It was even worse pictures than that. 
You know what I'm saying? It was a. It was. Yeah, I, know, it, I, seen the other I can't. You know what, what I'm fuck? saying? It. <laughs> it was worse. Pitch. Nigga, pull that shit up so we can get on this nigga. It's like it was a. It was a collage of pictures, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, what they what they what they was, what they what they uh nuts to nuts hold each other, bro, picking each other up. I didn't see you go know? that far, bro. Pick each other up. I didn't see. Yeah. Michael B was picking up yeah, Jonathan. It was so. It wasn't. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, I don't. Nah, what was that, bro? I, man, yeah, I'd have bro. been just oh, like, some shit. like, oh man, like, I'd been just done with them, just point. It was just here. other shots though, where they was kind of, you know. Ninety days, Mike. Ninety days, man. Ninety days, bro. If he address, he just he got to address it. You know, just say nah. It ain't even you yeah. know what I'm saying. Mr. T like, ain't taking bro, pictures. Ain't nothing he can say to clear that up. <laughs> Mr. T wasn't taking pictures like that with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Only way he can say that. Only thing he can say to clear some shit like that up is just saying like, "Hey, we're just playing around." We're he just better playing say a joke Jonathan Major jumped just on some... his back or something. Yeah, he last minute, huh? yeah, last something minute. like that. He didn't say nigga minute. jumped on my back and he snapped yeah. it. I'm like, what you yeah, doing? Yeah, he gotta say something. Maybe it is. Maybe that is what happened. That picture because he looked mad. He yeah, he looked mad. uncomfortable. He looked like he, he leaned back. Pull that back up, and put that back hey, up, big dog. Show the picture real quick. He looked mad. He looked mad. Like, hey, hey, I got one with just that picture mad. in there, big Don. If you got that one, if you could put that one up. Michael B looked mad, bro. He did not look happy when it came down to it at the end of the day, bro. You know what oh, I'm saying? Shit. So that's what I'm saying. To be he real, looked he looked mad, bro. He, do, bro. he did not look happy. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. What? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, he look, look. He don't. Do we look happy? Do we look happy? He ain't never hold. But you're right man. though. He don't look happy he don't. though. It look, I it look see like that. He, look. You know what's happened? Michael B was just sitting down, bro, getting his pictures taken, just sitting down. And then nigga Jonathan Majors came on top of, and he got. They snapped it right when his face was changing up, and about to look up at him and right, hit that nigga in doing? the head. You know what I'm saying? You know. But he do not look happy though, it bro. It looked like they beat Michael B up and made him take the picture. He getting a back. That's what it looked like. Backside bear hug. They beat him up. He probably they tied to the him. chair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga probably tied uh, to the chair. Look, we'll hands see down. Up. We see Jonathan Major's hands, but his hands ain't up. They got this nigga Michael B tied up. They man. Probably, they probably, hey, now we know what happened. Hey, hey. They drugged him. I'm going to talk for Michael B. I'm letting y'all know right now. They had Michael B. They had the homie tied up. They tied you up, bro. They had the homie tied they up, bro. They drugged him, tied him up. They tortured that boy, man. But, bro, don't he look drugged up? Look at his eyes. He do. Like he, he looked did, pissed, bro. That nigga looked like he they, they high, smoked a little bit of crack and everything. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. That he do not look right. He do oh, not look right. Man. Hey, Michael, we got B, you, Mike. You got you still got 90 though. You got to say something. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be a snitch and tell everything, but you got to say something, bro. You got to. You know so. Man. All right, man. Let's move from this situation, bro. Oh man. You know, we're about to go into the top 25. Before we do that, though, man. Let's. Hey, shout out to the Lakers, man. They they in the playoffs. Let's playoff. go. Lakers, Lakers in the baby. playoffs, baby. Lakers, Lakers in the playoffs. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We won the first game too, right? Lakers in the playoffs. We well, play well that it. was the play-in. Yeah, we had to get in there. That was the play-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah the play-in, the play-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are now in the playoffs. Shout out to the Lakers, yeah. baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Get it, get it, get it. We are there, in there like swimwear. People trying to hate on oh, Lakers. Ain't going to get Memphis. Psh, you know we got we LeBron, AD. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's balling. You know, we looking good. Schroeder over there balling. Balling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got Russell over there. Balling. You know, like, what are y'all, what are y'all talking about yeah, right now, man? We good. Us, bro. They just mad, bro. We good, man. We in there, bro. We in there. So, shout out to the Lakers, man. I have to do that. You know, first game is on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? It's going it's gonna to be great. It's going to be great, man. You know, so, uh. So yeah, all right, man. Let's go on and get into this uh, top twenty-five. Uh, also, too, bro. You know, just a little bit on the camera because when it shows, it just be popping up. But all right, let's get into the top uh, twenty-five really quick. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, a couple of things just to like, uh, I want people to understand when it come down to um, the top. You know, uh, first and first and foremost, Big Don, if you could put up the top fifty list, we we, we made out a top fifty list. We put the top fifty list up. All right, so if uh, Big Don, if you could show that top fifty list, uh, it's 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 in the email. Uh, put it up in there er, uh, earlier. Uh, it's probably the latest one that's up in there. So Big Don gonna get out the top fifty. We made out a top fifty. Um, that was probably the hardest list. I have um I've made. You know, straight up when it come down to like a top fifty, that is definitely probably the hardest list that I've ever made. Um, 
in my life, man, when it come down to making a list. I did the, the rap list, the LA list, all of that. But this list was a uh, very, very difficult uh, to make. You know what I'm saying? And um, the people who we, look, when it come down to the top 25, we're not saying, you know, people who had just the best songs are the best hits. It's not just about that. It's more than that. You know, this is straight singing from the soul. You know, these are artists who are singing singers. You know what I'm saying? Flat out could sing and the best singers slash artists of all time. You know what I'm saying? Now, we do consider, you know, songs, you know, awards, you know, writing and everything that is important, you know, that comes with all of that, you know. But our list is mainly based off the people who stood flat with a microphone in their hand. Flat with a microphone in their hand and either had the girls throwing pennies on the stage, you know what I'm saying? Or the men who are fighting claiming that that, that woman was the baddest in the world. You know what I'm saying? All oh, because of her voice. Sometimes not even because of her looks, because of her voice. voice. You know what I'm saying? You know, that what, that's what this list is about. This list is about the best of the best. This list is about the baddest to ever do it. Period, man. You know, and when it comes down to um, the list and everything, the same thing um, applies when it comes down to this list. Um, you know, two people have to basically agree um, when it comes down to uh, uh, who we pick, um, starting from the best of all time number one um all the way down and everything hey big don if you haven't found it it's, it's, it's all good because uh you know uh I, I don't i don't want you to lose focus of like what's going on with the camera and everything like that but um but 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 yeah but um when it comes down to it um two people um have to agree you know uh and also too if you do want to see the list go on, on my community tab just hit the community tab um and you will see that's the latest um picture that i put up and it got the list of the 50 people who are on that list. And we broke down that list into 25 today. But when it comes down to it, starting from number one, um, we have to agree. If we don't agree, let's say we all pick one person at that place. We're going to ask you guys in the chat to uh, uh, let us know who y'all think should have that place. If y'all don't let us know in time enough, though, that's when Big Don to come in and here pick someone out of that uh, uh, three. But we want to give you guys a chance to participate, you know, in our top 25 list if we can't agree on something you get what i'm saying you feel me all right, all right. now let's get into it let's get into it so uh we got number one and we're gonna start with you brody who we got number one on the top r&b list greatest singers greatest artists of all time no matter what generation who is number one i put michael jackson my boy mj Wow, R and B. Wow. Beat it, beat it, beat it. I, I mean, pop. I mean, artists with no matter what genre of all time, you know. Yeah, but I mean, he was R and B soul in Motown. So I mean, I, I got to Michael. Thank you. That's what I'm talking. Dang, I, I, I guess I Mike. lost that one. I didn't have Mike number yeah. one, bro. R Kelly. I got R Kelly. I'm not putting nobody in front of R Kelly. There's what? no way I would. Oh, well, that's Michael, though, bro. bro. I don't care what nobody on this. I got Prince over R Kelly. I'm gonna, I'm that's... gonna put, I'm gonna put. I'm going to put Michael as best artist of all time. When it comes down to popping everything mixed up into it, alternative, no matter what, I'm putting Mike number that's one. That's what we started on yeah, I said, no, this is R&B, just straight soul music. He did R&B? But he didn't do R&B better than R. Kelly. R&B, he didn't do that better than R. Kelly. Yeah, more girls Michael than R. Kelly. Did, Michael did better. You got to 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 no, no, you gotta, you gotta remember. See what R. Kelly. This is the thing. Hey, R. Kelly. Girls, R. Kelly. Girls listen, listen to this for a second. R. Kelly wrote hits for Michael Jackson. You know, so when I'm thinking of R. B. artists, I'm thinking of who did people go to even for the best R. B. songs we've ever heard in our life. Everybody went to R. Kelly. Who did the best R. B. songs by himself? Produced, wrote, created, all of that. I'm gonna always pick R. Kelly because I'm looking at straight raw. All around talent for that. I would tell Michael Jackson, stuff. yes, he's the best. Not even a, Michael Jackson ain't the best. He's the best entertainer and best dancer. I'm not even gonna say Michael the best singer. Let's be real. I'm gonna say Michael. Michael Jackson. Be, I get it. He was the. He was. His entertainment was so much incredible over everybody Michael. else. You know, Michael people gonna Jackson. pick him no matter what category it is. But if if, if we're just being and and I'm just I, I get as an entertainer, dancer, and all of that. But you know me, I'm technical. If I'm talking about straight R and B with writing, let's go down the list. Let's, go down, let, let's, let's talk about R and B. Let's just talk about it for one second. R and B soul rhythm and blues, right? Yeah. 
Would y'all say that? Of course, we'll take that off the list. Would y'all say Michael Jackson write better than R. Kelly? No, right? Of course. If no. it was just R and B, not pop. Michael Jackson didn't even write. Let's I not do that. He didn't even write. Let's, let's not do that. He wrote some, R. Kelly wrote songs for Celine Dion, bro. Yeah. It don't matter what R. Kelly, category. Of course, R. Kelly Writing, write that's better. R. Kelly. That's, let's not even do that. Let's be real. Let's not do that. Michael didn't even really that. write. You know, Michael said he didn't really write. You know what I'm saying? So no, R, no matter what, writing R. Kelly got that. Now let's talk about. Dance. Songs that songs that were songs that other people have done. Who've done more songs for other people that were artists, R and B artists? R. Kelly. He's written for everyone. Okay. Now, now we also got now, and let's be real. Straight up vocally, vocal, vocal. Let's be real. R and B vocals. I'm not talking about young man. I'm talking about who Michael was as a grown man. Who would y'all say vocally is better out of Michael and, and, and R. Kelly? Vocally. Just straight vocally. I'm going to say still Michael. I, I vocally? I'm going to say R. Kelly. Let's, that's, let's just be real. That's what I'm saying. Like Jack vocally. Michael. Michael. He, he can do that. Bro, high that's, note. You bro, know what I'm saying? That's, not, that's, that's to entertain and entertain. Michael got his. That's, that's what I'm saying. Michael Jackson man, was a great yeah. entertainer. That's not. When you talk about vocal singing, but that's you just what put a mic in your. We're talking about all around, like just all around bro, character. Bro, and, and bro, being an artist, vocally, like, you got a mic in your hand and you sing it. You do nothing but stand there. Are you in the studio with that in your hand? Michael is not going to outsing R. Kelly with a mic in his hand, not moving, sitting down. And Mike R is gonna out sing R. Kelly? R. Kelly. When he was his younger days, I say his younger days though. You, yeah, bro, yeah. Michael, let's stop with this crazy hey. stuff. I'm talking about uh, the, 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 uh, who they who, who they were as artists. And I'm talking R about artists, like wh who they were as artists. Grown men, just R be real. R. Kelly didn't go get like, his I'm voice say, Mike, I still altered, bro. Because nobody ain't selling out nothing. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, bro, and I'll vouch for this. I'll vouch for this. If anybody out there could take a lie detector and say Michael Jackson sung as a grown man better than R. Kelly, I will kill myself. I will kill myself straight up. I will kill myself if anybody could beat a lie detector test saying that Michael Jackson. With a mic in his hand like this, sitting down like I'm sitting, sing, cause sing better than R. Kelly. Fuck that no. is crazy. No, I'm just saying all that around as an artist, Michael Jackson I is better than singing. R. Kelly. I said sing, bro. We not we, saying that. It's I'm going, singing vocals. I, bro, listen to the rules. I'm breaking down so I'm asking questions. I'm asking you right now. Sitting down with the mic in their hand, not moving. Who could sing better? Out of all as, these as artists, an adult, that's what we going off of. R. Kelly and Michael Jackson, the two we talking about as adults. <laughs> As a dope, sitting down there before they, R. Kelly. before R. Kelly went to jail, Michael Jackson died. Going on, Who is R. going R. to Kelly. sing better sitting down with a microphone in their hand, just singing? Kales. Just being real, bro. It's not even well, nothing honey. to lie about. Let's. I get it, you. But but let's just be real for it. I want to be real, bro. I don't want to just make up stuff. Like this, nobody. Like bro, be real, be real. You could you could still say Michael Jackson is who you pick, but be real about that part vocally. Vocally, yeah, vocally, I'm going like I said. It's just that's what I'm saying. Vocally, that's what kills. we're talking about. I right, will vocally. Nah, if you I even still feel Michael Jackson, keep that stand on that. Nah, I bet you everybody would disagree with I'm you. I'm standing on that. just all around, just artists. If I'm, I'm gonna not pick talking about, about that. that. Okay, but okay, well, vocally, okay, now nah, I say okay, okay well, vocally, so, but so this what, is what so, we're talking about. Okay, as no, far no, as no. The list. I wanted, I was breaking down a lot of if you if you have a a a a like a list right, and you got the negatives and positives. I could pick out more more categories that R. Kelly was better and Michael Jackson in than Michael Jackson R. Kelly. With Michael Jackson, you got the entertainment aspect, the dancing aspect, right? You got that right there. All day with Michael Jackson. All day, no lie. And you got performance. Bro, I'm, I'm going to tell you bro, this. I don't even think R&B artists going to actually agree with that. Bro, Everybody always going to put Michael. I'm, get, I'm, I'm breaking it down. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what if you're you saying, brought bro. out a list mm -hmm. and you got negative and positives on who went or both of them, y'all can still keep Michael Jackson. I'm not saying go off of that. Yeah. Like, like, look, look. Let's just be, I'm having a conversation. Yeah. It gets frustrating when you kind of go around a conversation. I'm having a conversation. If you have a list and you have the things that Michael did great, the things that R. Kelly did great, R. Kelly is going to have more things on his list that he did great over Michael Jackson. That's all I'm saying. But I get it. Michael Jackson was the biggest star in the world for one, and his performance aspect was so incredible that it just go past anybody. He was Mike. He did the moonwalk. I get it. But if you break down all around, all around creativity out of the artist, R. Kelly gonna murder Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson, he got a couple of things in his pocket that he just blowing everybody away with, the performance aspect all day.
You know what I'm saying? And of course, we got to understand Michael was even with the dressing. Michael just whole persona was was great. But I'm talking about if we breaking down the technical aspect of being an, an artist, R. Kelly is gonna probably just about beat anybody because he did everything mm-hmm. himself. You got to understand that. I didn't even get into like the producer part and all that. R. Kelly did everything, and he did it at a high level. So. I mean, Michael Jackson, y'all, y'all get. I mean, I'm, I'm going with what the team got. You know, we got Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. So Michael Jackson is. But I'm just saying technicality, technicality. and everything like that. I'm personally not gonna put nobody over R. Kelly in R and B. In R and B. Not Babyface. In R and B, no, because R. Kelly did a lot more, a lot more than Babyface. Rough, technically, yeah. Babyface is Babyface is right there. But R. Kelly, he just did too. He wrote for too many people. Well, Babyface did too. List. But when it come down to it, R. Kelly just technically was the greatest of all yeah, time in R and B. Yeah, all the way around because you said so, vocals i'm gonna say i'm gonna, I'm gonna go if you if you're breaking it down on vocals uh, I'm gonna of say course and that's all i was doing i was For just real. breaking every category yeah. down just at least show i know we gonna, you all gonna pick michael but right, what number one we got wait, wait, let me finish let me finish bro we ain't gotta rush nothing bro we having a conversation i just wanted to go over that because look if we're gonna do this list and even if somebody else uh uh, uh got on the list as the top hey i gotta at least break down why i came up with that that's all i'm saying and my reason was because Technical yeah, when it comes down to R and B, R. Kelly got more checks on his list than Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's why I picked remember, R. Kelly. You gotta remember that. Uh, That's why I picked him. I'm gonna pick the one who got more <clears throat> checks on the list. If you're doing vocals, you gotta remember that Michael Jackson got his vocal cords cut to sound that way. You know what I'm saying? R. Kelly never did anything. It's a lot to, Mike to did. Mike, but, but but look, at the end of the day, Mike is always gonna be a lot number one yeah. for not technical reasons because he was Mike. He was that's Mike, it. yeah, exactly. He was Mike, you know, so that's why most people are gonna pick Mike. But if you really think about the technical aspect of creating a song, being an artist, all of that, R. Kelly is gonna murder anybody when it comes down to it as an R.B. artist because everybody went to R. Kelly, including Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, R. Kelly didn't go to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson came to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's why I'm gonna pick R. Kelly. But Michael Jackson, number one, you can put that up, Big Don. He gonna put the uh, the black picture or the white picture? Yeah. Let's put the black picture. <laughs> <laughs> he got Let's all, put he the got, black mic up all, there, he, man. No, nah, he got all the pics. I already uh, <laughs> had the all the pics. <laughs> yeah, you know what the saying? thriller one. Are you posting that up, Big Don? Oh, okay. There okay, you're the black one. one. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, I, bro, I picked up. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna pick no. <laughs> you think I was gonna pick the <laughs> Planet of the Apes? You black and white, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Planet of the Apes, Michael. <laughs> I would have. I would have never picked no Planet of no Apes, Michael Jackson, bro. Yeah. All right, right, number two, bro. I'm walk, I'm done if y'all ain't putting R. Kelly, bro. Uh, uh, it's no, it's no what way. You got, so I, who know who you got? You who know you I got R. Kelly, bro. Okay. I was trying to see what's going on. Okay, like. you already know R. It's Kelly, like, bro, bro. Come like, on, I, bro. I'm not. I'm not. It's, I, no, it's just, no way I'm gonna sit here and just see R. Kelly go down. I don't care. It's just what, when it comes look, down to R. Kelly, and Mike, I gotta pick. I don't Mike. care but what of course, R. Kelly did in I'm his big, personal I'm life. I do not look. That ain't that don't got nothing to do with me. That's between R. Kelly and God. But when it comes, but R. Kelly is not gonna get disrespected at this table as an artist in the R&B game. Not so ever, bro. So never. I feel you. I will. I will, I will take Michael Jack. I will take that. Eat Mike. I get it. Whatever. And you know, two against one. I'll take it. But nigga, not going further so down we, than so two. We, so we not go to put. Uh, you know, we got Marvin Gaye. We got James. Not Brown. before R. Kelly. We talking about number two though. Who not you got as number Kelly. two? Not before R. Kelly. Sorry. I know Swag ain't got R. Kelly, so we already know. We... I ain't got bro right. <laughs> Can there. I say one more thing? People have made our whole careers copying off R. Kelly. Hell yeah. Joe, Avon, all of these dudes made whole careers. Man, babies was Come made on, off bro. of R. Kelly. Come, Come on. on, bro. I, I'm never, I'm never ever going against. We always R. born Kelly from R. Kelly and R. B. <laughs> and I don't care what nobody out there say. I really don't. I don't really care. You know, like that's what it is. What it is. If you if you understand R. B., you can't really put too many people, if anybody, above R. Kelly. Yeah, but, you know, uh, but that's two against one. Who did you have though for number two? Bro, you know I didn't have R. Kelly, bro. But, but who did you, you know have? Just saying. to say who you had. Like I said, who I had with number one. Who did you have? Just to... man. Before that, oh, but sh- number two. Who did you go with? Shit, you know I'm with, I'm with the OGs and shit. So nigga, <laughs> if it wasn't Mike, I was gonna say Prince. You well, Mike me? already off the list. We talking about number two. I was gonna say so Prince. Prince. I'm, I'm okay, number two, but we can go with R. Kelly, bro. Okay, R. You know, Kelly is two R. against Kelly one. Number two. You know, I was beating shit down when the uh, Chocolate Factory came out. Oh, yeah. Man, bro, who, who was it? Who <laughs> was it? You know, you, you, know, you had your kid it? listen to some R. Kelly. Bro, who did Hell it? The you fuck know, that's not. what I'm saying. Yeah, my daughter, like, 06. She listened to that nigga. I'm saying at the end of the day, bro. Every, no, I said you had your kid. I don't care what nobody uh-huh. say. I'm saying in the bedroom. Everybody you know? have had. I R. have Kelly my thing. Everybody had. I'm more of a Donnell Jones, Gene Wine nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
Number two, the OG. Yeah, yeah, I said it. You know what I'm saying? If anybody... uh, I don't know if y'all gonna like my number three, but all right, let's go. Uh, my number three, look, <laughs> I know now we're about to get to a place where it's we gonna be agree, back and forth. About... Probably not, because my my number three is, is very specific. He's a straight OG, and, and I'm gonna explain why, because I know y'all is gonna be different, but I'm gonna explain why he's number three. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, 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 <laughs> Who you have number uh, three, Swat? Nigga, just off the rip. Somebody had to put Ryan Isley, bro. Well, not my number three. Probably my number four, unless you say it too, bro. But, yeah, my number four is going to be the one. That, but who you got? Ryan, Ryan Isley? Isley, yeah. Okay. Who you got, bro? I got Genuine. I got Genuine. You already know, yeah. bro. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm one. I'm one in yeah, fact, bro was big people, on the Genuine. People probably bro. really go crazy Man. on me because I got R. Kelly, Genuine, Michael. I got Michael three behind Genuine. That's just me. Yeah, yeah. I'm we got sorry. The same thing. You know what I'm saying? Party, like, we, Gen- Genuine is the. I, I tried to emulate Genuine Man, in high school. I went to school shit. with the curl. I went to school. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Nigga had the baby, bro, baby hairs every, and all bro, that. Bro, every, everything, bro. I, 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 I had the little stuff Genuine. in my hair. Cause, bro, I tried to be just like G. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, yeah, G wine straight up. You know what I'm saying? Number three, man. A lot of people probably like, how G Hey, y'all don't, y'all, lockdown. y'all. Look, anybody who watching this, the young cats and everything like that who probably watching hey, this, Billy. anybody who y'all looking at like, huh? Who is, go and listen to 100%. You know what I'm saying? Go listen to the Bachelor. You know what I'm saying? Go listen to the, Senior. The senior yeah. You know, uh, uh, you 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 gotta you go listen to up next. It's a lot of, you know, uh, uh, joints you gotta go out there and listen to. Don't talk until you listen to what G was doing. You know, not the genuine y'all be laughing at now on stage doing his no, little OG. dance. <laughs> nah, I don't know what going on with him now. I don't have no clue. Yeah, need to but stop I'm talking. I'm him. talking about the the late '90s, early 2000s genuine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. All right, cool. Number four, my turn to go. Okay, number four, and and I got my reasons for. I know y'all not don't have them on uh, on, on your um your list in the top ten. Hopefully, the, at least the top twenty. But I'm gonna say it because I got my reasons too. But I got Sam Cook number four. Yeah, my number four is Ronald Isley. All right, who you got number four? So I might have to say an OG nigga, Marvin Gaye. Oh wow! So you got all we got all three different Damn. ones, huh? Okay, but the big dime. Yeah, yeah, we, and we, we don't got to go into too much. I'm just explaining why I got Sam Cook. One thing we got to understand when it comes down to to songwriting, producing, doing all of that yourself, and also having as an R and B artist having your own label yourself in the game. Sam Cook started all of that, and then you got to think about it. All the songs that we we listened to that was remade, that was all Sam Cook song. I was born on a river, like this Sam Cook. <laughs> You know that what I'm saying? Like this is joint. all Sam Cook. Sam Cook started remixes started with Sam Cook songs. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to explain why I picked Sam Cook. A lot of stuff that these cats are trying to do now, Sam Cook started it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got Sam Cook. But uh uh but who you got? You got Ron Ronald Isley, which ain't a bad pick. Marvin and you Gay. have Marvin Gaye, which not a bad you know, all those people are in my top ten. So uh big uh big Don is the chat um saying anything? It, Oh, damn! You didn't put Taurus. Well, that well, well, you know what? Uh, we agreed on that. So I mean, that that that's the, you know, who are they saying out of the three we just said for number four? I pick Sam Cook, the bro pick who Ronald, Isley. Ronald Isley, and Swag pick Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Gay. Out of those three What's right there, on? is the chat saying anything? Okay, chat, chat. If y'all listening, who y'all picking out of? The first one that say something, we're going to throw that person up. You got Ronald Isley. You got Sam Cooke. You got Marvin Gaye. Who are y'all picking out of those three for number four? Who y'all got? I was born. Hey, I who? know the truth. <laughs> you you, you told us in the song. chat? Yeah. You said Marvin, right? Yeah, I said Marvin. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah. Marvin Gaye, yeah. Ronald Isley, and Sam Cooke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we let, yeah, the chat, yeah. So yeah. OG, so. Yeah. Hey, right, Ronald that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Chat, and, 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 I, and I got Ronald Ron Isley, I got baby. Ronald Isley. No, I got, I mean, at the end of the day, it's only, I got Ronald Isley right there. I, and I know when it come down to Sam Cooke, a lot of people don't know Sam Cooke like that. You know, I I, I knew bro, Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke, I, this is Ronald Isley, bro. No, 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 no. He's old school, too. People don't understand. This is the thing. People don't understand, like, why. You, you know, you may have heard some songs, but 
I picked Sam Cooke because he was the first one to have his own label. He was the first one to sign artists. And when it come down to it, Sam Cooke was giving a lot of these, a lot of these uh, uh, people, the songs they remix, they remix in Sam Cooke's song. You forget Sam Cooke, he used to have like 25 to 30 songs on one album. See, every album. So that's what I'm saying. You know, like, but but I'm not going to go against the OG Ronald Isley, though. You know what I'm saying? But people who I understand don't really understand Sam Cooke, I want y'all to go in and, and look up Sam Cooke. Y'all going to be like, dang, he did all of that? I, I No, I promise. I promise. A lot of people, because he's so old, bro, and he, he Sam Cooke got murdered when he was... um. Yeah. In his in his twenties, I, I don't right? even think he, no, 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 no. That's Marvin Gaye. Oh, Marvin Gaye. I'm tripping. Yeah. It was by it was by a woman. Sam Cooke had all, look, bro. The R. Kelly's and Trey songs and all that. That was Sam Cooke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before he got killed, if Sam Cooke did not get killed, you would definitely probably not be putting none of these cats around. Sam Cooke would probably be number one. Let's be real. But he got killed early. But he did all of that so fast. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but 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 yeah okay cool so we got Ronald Isley I had him next but I'm gonna then go back to I'm gonna go right back to Sam Cook number five I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep saying Sam until he get on his list man I can't I can't let the OG Sam Cook not be on his list man so I'm gonna say uh, number five I'm going with Sam Cook we all got I got I got Usher what I'm done. <laughs> Bro, we got him the swag guy, bro. Yeah, you know, bro, don't listen to me. Usher. He said Usher. I bet he went in the chat going to agree with that, bro. Like, Usher, come on, bro. He said come Usher, on. Bro. Usher, man. What? Who you got number five? What? I'm going to keep it OG. I'm going Barry White. Oh, <laughs> shit. Barry White, that's something we should have walked out on. Hell no. Nah, Over nigga. Usher, though? I think Usher, man, come on, oh bro. Oh, like, my God. Who you got? Who, who, come on. Gonna get who you got, Paul? Seduction. Sam oh, Cook, Sam man. Cook. Like, like, why? This is disrespectful, man. I don't All like, right, let the chat in. I don't know about bro. So, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, and that's why, and I understand that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but it still is like, get to a point where it's like, I get a lot of people don't know about Sam Cook, but it's like, y'all got to understand. This is, if when y'all go look up Sam Cook, and y'all hear all y'all start to see all, all the remixes we love now with Sam Cooke and start to see he was the first one to create his own label. Just see the background of him. Y'all gonna be like, dang, we disrespected you got Sam it, Cooke. You got it bad. And you put uh, Usher don't do Bro, shit. Usher. Over Usher. Sam Cooke? Yes. Bro, Usher that sound genius, that sound bro. retarded. Usher over Babyface? Yes. Bro, I'm not Usher. putting Usher over a lot of Usher. people. Everything he do is a is, is go. You already know, man. So Swag, stupid. I do not want anything the chat do. to say anything, anything. about some Usher. Hey, you let the come chat. Over this hey, side no, and no nah, bro. You five. can't do that, bro. No, we can do whatever you want. Hey, it ain't hey, 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 force. Hey, let the chat say it. Nah, bro. Bro, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want. No, the chat's supposed to get the last, whatever. If we don't have two that agree. If we don't have two that agree. It ain't force. It ain't force. Since the homie is breaking shit down to a motherfucking T, bro. And I don't really I'm know breaking the chat say down. I'm talking really breaking chest. down. And I don't really know about Sam Cook, but how the homie broke him down. I'm gonna have to say Sam Cook, homie. Just there we go. The there we go. Straight up. The way Sam he broke Cook, him down. baby. And and that hey, hey. The, the no, chat, hey, nobody have no good hey, he he twists and, and and like I said too, a lot of people don't understand who Sam Cook is. If Sam Cook was in nowadays, they'll laugh at you for saying Usher. I bet he money everybody let the Usher over Sam Cook. Of right course, now. Yeah. bro. Now, yeah, bro, now, yeah. Even older cats. I'm talking about even older cats. Bro, of course. Of course, you think that people ain't listening to um um the weekend and oh, all that. Oh, Sam Cook, nigga. Oh, okay. Even Ronald Isley. Of course, bro. Of course, that's that's because Sam Cook was out in the in the seventies and all of that, bro. Hey, what's the uh, is, you know what another song he, he that got, he that he did, bro? Who Sam Cook? He did Born on the River. He did you know she was she was too young to fall in love, <laughs> yeah, and I, I was too young. <laughs> hey, to, no. These were all the, yeah. the all the old school movies we watching. <laughs> all Sam Cook songs and no, all playing. of them. No, 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 like I let's be real, Sam, Cook, Sam like, Cook was a hit maker. I can't put my he just Usher. died early, bro. But if Sam Cook was out nowadays, Usher would worship Sam Cook. He would kiss his feet. Usher can't do what Sam Cook do. That's all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Sam all Cook right, number man, five, baby. Sam Cook, man. Let's get bro that, man. So we can. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I can't, I can't take too much. Look, it's certain people. I'm glad, actually, I'm glad it's, like this. It's certain funny. people. I can't take too much slander of them. Like, I'm sorry. Do your history, everybody, and go find out who Sam Cook is. Please do that. Please do it for your boy Paul P. All right, because I think that everybody would understand why Sam Cook is in the top five. All right, cool. Number six. Who we got, bro? I'm gonna go to Cisco. Actually, I'm gonna. Drew Hill, Cisco, Cisco? Drew Hill. Uh, 
Over Prince? What? Over Prince? Yes, Drew Hill, oh, no. Cisco. This is, this what? Is, this is not top groups, bro. Yes, yeah, but I mean, uh, you gotta say like Drew, because Cisco is the lead, and it's like basically Cisco, bro. Like, hey, Chad, just let the bro know how you feel about that. I mean, I mean, just, hey, all right, I got Chad. Chad, just going on to do. Hey, y'all, y'all have free room to just say what y'all gotta say, to the bro, for putting Cisco at number My six. Life is incomplete. At number six. Hey, the bro said there. Cisco is the number six Cisco, best R&B man. artist of all time. Y'all say. What y'all want to say? Fuck him in that backflip somersault. Who you got, Swag? Who you got? Bro? Now I'm putting Prince. You got Prince. <laughs> don't I fuck mean, with I Prince, thought you got had your boy. Um, what, babyface. Next to Mar Marvin Gaye. Yeah, okay. oh, Marvin Gaye. Listen to. I have Marvin. I have Marvin Gaye, bro. Yeah, listen to Prince, bro. You got Prince. I, I got Prince album at the house. I got Prince, bro. Over Dang, Mar oh, you still over Marvin Gaye? I, I of, a, of a singer. Remember, as an R and B singer, I put as, be as best artist of all time. See, that's what I'm saying. Even like with Michael, as best artist, I'm putting Michael Prince number two. If best artist yeah, of all yeah. time, but as an R and B singer, I can't I can't put Marvin Gaye above Prince as an R and B yeah. singer, bro. I mean, you got Marvin Gaye, bro. Got, I mean, that, that's Marvin my nigga Gaye. too. Right, we got Cisco, oh, yeah. Marvin Gaye, and Prince. I'm gonna go what? ahead and, and lean to the homie. No, nah, let's let the check. Yeah, he picked, yeah. Well, well he picked to... Marvin Gaye at first. Uh, yeah, anyways. I picked Marvin Gaye uh, before. So like, oh, okay, so, okay. So that's what I'm saying. It was it wasn't just me. No, I was just asking. Oh, why what made you switch? You know what I'm saying? But but nah, he but but I I agree. Marvin Gaye. You got R and B singer, shit. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, but Chad, still say what y'all want to say about that. Chad, say what y'all want to say about that. Everything say about that. Everything you saying? No, I'm saying. I already Marvin said Marvin Gaye, Gaye. Bro. <laughs> and bro, I'm, and bro, and I'm sorry that you picking Cisco. Well, at least Dom or the Chad the, the last. Okay, hey, Big Dom, who you picking? Um, Cisco or Marvin ba Marvin Gaye? Yeah. All right, cool. All Let's right. move on. Like bro, like well, that's of course, bro. Like, but like, like bro, this, like bro. No, I don't. I, I know that. that is no conversation with who you're. Like you're saying Cisco, and who and who else did you say? When did Usher, bro. Out, like these dudes are not over these. Cisco is going to be a legend. I mean, not Cisco. I'm sorry. Usher is going to Usher is a, probably a legend now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. these dudes, are we talking about like like these dudes are already in the Hall of Fame. You know man, what I'm saying? Way up there, man. What what's going I, on? I knew Don was gonna keep it what's old school. What's going though. on? All right, next. All right, so that's that's six, right? Okay, number seven. Who we got? Number seven. I gotta go with Tyrese now. Now I'm starting to switch. I gotta put because Tyrese. I got him in my top twenty, but you got him high though. You got him kind of high. I and, and yeah, I love Tyrese too, man. You know, as a as a singer, but you got him high, man. I I feel, I feel we got who you got. I feel we gotta get a female Luther on here. Luther We do, but. Back so in the day, you got Luther. I got Luther, bro. I gotta put that boy in there. I got Aaliyah, man. You got Aaliyah. I got Aaliyah. I feel like we had to get a female on here. You so know, what I'm saying? Tyrese, it was Aaliyah, for me so. out of the females. It was gonna be Aaliyah or Sade. Oh, Sade. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right but I, you know what I'm saying? Man. So, but I, but I'll pick Aaliyah. But so I mean, that's what we got. Who, who did you have, bro? Got Tyrese. Tyrese. You said who? What I say? Luther. Luther. I said Luther Vandross. Okay, Tyrese, Luther, or Aaliyah. Uh, Big Don Axe Tat. Who they picking out of Tyrese, Luther, Vandross, or Aaliyah? You know, I'm I, I, honestly, bro. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of cool with whoever out of those three is is next on the list. You know what I'm saying? But I feel we need a woman on, on here. I know y'all don't hear. Um, you know that's in the Leo. Gotta man. give it to Ty, Tyrese. Yeah, okay, you know, Luther. Yeah, okay, yeah. I can I can see that too. I can see Luther. You know what I'm saying? So Luther no, no, no fuss. And like I said, I just want to get a a female on here too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, okay, let's go ahead and throw Luther up there. Number seven. Let's do it. Yeah, number seven. All right. She. Yeah, well, Aaliyah, it's hard. Aaliyah Sade, Lauren Hill. Oh my goodness. I know, man. It's some good. Do y'all want to get a girl up on here? Y'all want to try to get? It? Okay, so who y'all? Right. I, I, I got it. I'm always gonna pick Aaliyah first, but it's hard to argue with a lot of these women on here. But I'm you gonna got go Rihanna. Rihanna. You got Sade. Rihanna. Yeah. Bro, you be going somewhere far. Bro, Rihanna, with I'm going over I'm going Aaliyah, over, I don't really over yeah. Lauren music, Hill, but over Sade, over Whitney. I listen to probably more Rihanna than what? if if I was listening to a female artist, it'd be probably Rihanna over wow. mostly all these females, bro. Like I'm just keep it real. Wow. You all know, right, who Rihanna, you got? Swag? I'm going with Aaliyah. I had Aaliyah albums, bro. Yeah, I had to, I had I'm I'm going I had Aaliyah, Aaliyah albums, bro. bro. I, was, I'm, I don't even got a Rihanna even on my. I don't even know if she's in my top thirty. I don't my even God. Play a Rihanna. But then, uh, Rihanna. It could go wrong without Aaliyah and Rihanna. Though. Oh, we could go so very I, wrong. No, I'm just trying to what? say, like, to me, oh, it, 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 maybe to you, Rihanna, oh, that goes really better. wrong. Shit. I think Rihanna would say that's wrong. One in a million. I, I really do. If she say about R and B, now as as an overall artist, I would say probably, and that's even hard. But I'll probably say Rihanna because Rihanna, she got the pop side and all of that. 
You know what I'm saying? Reggae, reggae, tom, thon, and all of that. Aaliyah, bro. But Aaliyah, man, R and B, come on. Start acting bro. like you wasn't in, in, in the classroom making the uh, one, the uh, the one, uh, the one million beat on the uh, dash. Stop it. Oh man, man, that bring back memories, bro. My goodness. <gasps> Oh, all right, know. so we got Maddie, what? Leah number Maddie, eight. Maddie, Leah. Man, I wish she never passed. Okay, Leah number eight, man. Okay, uh, number nine. Who we got? Number nine. Uh, is it? I think your turn. To pick we going back to the males, or we just going back to regular program? Back. Just what do you think? I just thought we had to get a woman. Up I gotta here, go back but, to Tyrese. But I got, I got some other women in my top two, But I mean, just pick who, you, who, pick who you picking. I'm gonna do Tyrese again. It was man. actually Swag turn to pick first. Oh, day, but oh my bad. Let's go with that boy. Keith Hennessy Sweat. Yeah, I got ah. Keith Sweat um, next. I mean, Keith who you, Sweat, baby. Who, who you got, bro? No, I got Tyrese, but I got Keith Sweat right next under Tyrese. So it's like I can go either, but I'm gonna say Tyrese. And though, you know first. what? I'm gonna if, put if, Tyrese first. And though. I'm a, and I'm gonna be real. If 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 I if I just made my list where it's like hit makers and stuff like that, I would have. But I, I was like, I can't put Keith Sweat as a singer. Over a lot of these people. You wasn't fucking with Keith Sweat when he no, came. No, no. Oh, of course I. He, if that's why I said as 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 um the the best hits, he's one two right yeah. there with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Um, of but of course you got Teddy Riley. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh Man, we ain't got I'll be sure on this motherfucker. You know, you know, uh, uh, you got you got a couple other cats when it come down to the writing, you know, and everything. Babyface, yeah, Teddy Riley, all of them, right? But flat out singing, you got Keith Sweat over a lot of some. Man. I mean, but y'all, it's both of y'all, man. But y'all got Keith Sweat over a lot of OGs in the game, bro. I, I mean, I got T. No, I said I got Keith. Uh, like, as Tyrese. a singer? No, Keith Sweat is next, but I got Tyrese for, yeah, right now. Who you got, El Jabar? So, so, who you. Uh, <laughs> is El Jabar in my top 20? Yeah, I don't got yeah. El in my top 20. Oh, okay. You know, I don't got oh, him no. in my top 20. Um, all right, so so you got you got um, Keith Sweat. Who you got, bro? Tyrese. Tyrese. I mean, I at least got I at least got uh, Tyrese in my top twenty, so I go with Tyrese. I go with Tyrese. Oh, sons on, of man. love making. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Only all you act for. Bro, you used to always listen to that, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jam. That's, oh, yeah, that's that. why I say I'm not gonna argue you with Tyrese, bro. Only CD I'm gonna I'm put. No, I, said, I, I, had every, I had every Tyrese Only CD, CD, bro. A everyone, uh, every every Tyrese. CD Tyrese put out. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tyrese is it. All right, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's what, number nine? Tyrese's got to just stop crying too much, man, over these females, though. <laughs> no, he's straight now. Nah, he is straight. Nah, he is straight. Nine. Nine. straight All right, man, Tyrese, man. number nine. Tyrese, number nine. Okay, number ten, number ten. All right, man, uh, ooh, I, I really think that, um, I think that, uh, man, we, it's so many women. Um, Go back to the females? I, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I mean, we y'all don't have to, but I'm like, do we, do we have to look at it that way? I mean, we got Lauren Hill, we got Whitney, Sade. we got Sade. Like, we can't put him over Keith Sweat though. Sade, Keith bro, Sweat. hell yeah, Sade, Sade, Sade. Sade. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's, you 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 you, you yeah, be yeah. just specific with what you listen ugly. to, bro. Sade, Sade, bro. Sade, go. Sade, I didn't happy. say she don't. I'm saying this. over Keith Sweat. Yeah, that's what I'm this. saying. Sade, don't just have. The industry in the palm of her hand. She got people like J D begging her to jump on songs. Hell yeah, <laughs> Jay Z. Like who got Jay Z begging them? So I mean, I, I got to yeah, I got to definitely put Sade over Keith Sweat. Sade. personally, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going. Oh, Sade I guess y'all said Sade already. You, got, you said yeah. you got Sade. Sade. Yeah, sexy looking ass. Put her on there. So we got Sade. Top, Sade number ten. That's the top ten right there. Still looking. Good. I want your body. Sade number ten. <laughs> <laughs> they leaving out Keith Sweat, man. I know the chat is pissed. Damn. They like what? Nah, I don't think they tripping on that, bro. <laughs> I don't think they tripping. When you got Sade, I don't think they tripping, bro. At all, bro. At all. At all. Hell no, they not tripping on Sade. At all, they not tripping with Sade right there. The, with the suit on? Oh, that's Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. So we got number eleven. Uh, I, I just the, I just went for it. so now it's on you, bro. Keith Who you got number eleven? Again. I'm gonna go with Keith Sweat because we gotta throw him up there, man. What's up? Who you got, Sweat? Looking at this list, bro. All of our moms are listening to Keith Sweat. Gotta, we know that for a fact. I gotta put Prince, I gotta put my boy <laughs> Prince back up. Prince. Put, put Prince back up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Prince over Keith. So. Oh, hell oh, yeah! Man. I got to, bro. <laughs> I got to. Like what I like I said, you know you know why I, I keep I'm not look, our mom's bro, gonna be mad, bro, bro. <laughs> bro but let me tell you, let me let me let me tell you why I agree with that though. 
if we was talking about hit songs, like I said, Keep Sweat would be right there, top five, easy. But as a singer, I can't put him over as a singer over a lot of these cats, you know? But I could see, I could see him being on the list, though, definitely, because he keeps sweat. His, his songs were so hard, it made, you know, even his singing go up a yeah, yeah, some levels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good writer. You know, yeah, it's the, one of the best to ever do. Right the by, artist. I say right behind R. Kelly and R&B, right yeah. behind him, you know, as a writer. You know what I'm saying? So Prince number 11, man, Prince number 11. All right, number 12, who we got? Um... You picked first this time, so we got. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and throw my boy. Uh, we gotta do the my boy James Motherfucking Brown. That's why I said Keith Sweat like way at number five, and we had number twelve. He said Mister Keith Sweat yet? Can I like what? Can I adjust my <laughs> roster, nigga? Damn, in, in I can't adjust shit. In game what? adjustment, that's like a big jump. It's like you said Keith Sweat way at number five. I, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in we game game we at number twelve, like, nigga. Keith Sweat gonna be number motherfucking fifteen, <laughs> bro. You do that to you at Usher. No, I don't go that no, far bro, apart though. That's too far apart. You at Usher number two because we leave our Keith Sweat. It's like all right, nah, Keith Sweat is starting to get real. It's like we got nobody about to vote for the Usher. You like, let me get off. Usher, and these niggas ain't yeah, vote for Usher. Usher no more. <laughs> these niggas ain't vote for that nigga. And Cisco. Maybe I can get him at the back of the list, but these niggas ain't getting him. 25. Oh, you know shit. Well, I'm still going with Key Sweat, man. Now, I, Who's man, that? I so we got, I, I think I could, I could switch, you know what I'm saying? I, my list, because, do. Y'all read even this list. I got to say Keith who Sweat. I would at least have on that list. I don't, I don't got James Gosh. on there, but I do got, I, I can, you know, in my 25, have Key. So I'm going to go, I go, I go with Key. Man. I go with him. Damn. Let's just I, I, I just couldn't have quick, him. In the, I just don't think he could have been in the top 10. Put the Hennessy man on You there. know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're going to throw Keith Sweat. And we I do know we all, we all like Keith Sweat. You know what I'm saying? And I need it right now. I want you to holla. <laughs> <laughs> I need Keith Sweat. You know we gotta joke stop. a little bit with Keith Sweat out there. You know, you know. Hong and long and like me. Hong and long and like me. My boy Keith, boy. Hong and long and like me, my body. Nobody, baby. <laughs> That nigga, that's all the nigga say, I know. that nigga flat. That's all the nigga say. That's how you say I know oh, flat. Man. Like damn, nigga, you ain't going no, into no other. Uh, hey, <laughs> you just. But, but hey, our hey, moms hey, loved him. Hey, just for the chat though, it, it's because of his songs, bro. Like we, it, that's yeah. that's something none of us could deny. The dude's yeah. songs is. Right. Look, he put his own self up there just by his, his writing ability, self. man. So, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. So what's that? Twelve. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, eight, nine, ten, 12. eleven, twelve. Yep. 13. So, thirteen. Number thirteen. Who we got? Uh, my son. Okay. So thirteen. Um, I'm gonna go with. Who? So far, we got two women up there, and I do think that she is a, a top. Um. Ooh. Thirteen. This is tough. This is getting tough. Um. You putting a female on there? I mean, they're on my list. You know, when it come down to it, man, it's tough though. Uh, I go, I'm gonna go with Lauren Hill. Mm. Thirteen. I'm gonna go with Lauren Hill. Who y'all got? I had Alicia. Okay. Y'all want to do a female? Hey, okay. I, I mean, you want to talk about a female? I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going I, Rihanna. My next three, I got females. I'm still up gonna on put there. Rihanna. I got it. I okay, so it. Rihanna's gonna be so it's it's me or you persuading each other. Why? Why? I actually got Alicia who, right there. Who, who you got? But who, Lauren who Hill. Say oh, I said Rihanna. Lauren Hill. You know, shit, let's go. I mean, I can lean over to the, Lauren go, Hill, the Fugees a, and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit like that's that. what I'm saying. And I could at least so. Y'all okay, got more history than all of these women, though. What are y'all talking what? about, bro? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say you didn't listen to nothing that I said in the beginning. In the beginning, remember what I said? We not just going off it. We going off of singing. I know singing what, ability as an R and B. Rihanna, Rihanna's just not an R and B singer. She sings pop. She sings a little bit of everything. I'm talking about straight. I don't think y'all already listen to Rihanna, straight, bro. I'll everybody have listened in the world. Have, we can't get away from it. She's on the radio every time you cut on the radio. I'm, but I'm talking about flat R and B soul as a soul singer. You're gonna okay. Let's just do this. Let's go into straight R and B as a soul singer on a soul nighttime R and B station. You're gonna listen to a Rihanna song over a Lauren Hill or Alicia Keys song? Fuck no. Are you gonna Rihanna be chilling with your girl? You gonna have that over over? 
I was there for you, there for you. I was there for you. Yeah. I will die for you, die. You you gonna listen I, to the I over Lauryn Hill or even Alicia Keys? I pulled that right, bro. Cause yeah, you, you ain't really, yeah. You, I'm trying over, to say you heard her album, albums like give me a song. 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 Give me the Ariana song. She I named it. I named Lauryn Hill she and that Alicia one Keys. song like uh, it's called uh, Crickets. Oh, uh, Crickets. What's that? Um, she got Crickets. It. What's the name of that song? She did Gary Crickets. Crickets. Look, we could name a lot of songs from Lord Turn Hill the and Alicia down Keys. Low. No, all I'm trying, day I'm trying to go that to we like were a song that you were really girl. singing that went hard, though. Uh, Crickets. Off of that. I don't care what went hard. What you listen to with your girl in the bed having sex? Let's be real. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill or Alicia Keys no, over Alicia Keys. Rihanna. No well, I ain't really listen to no female artist when no, I'm in the bed. No, but bro, if it come on, you I'm not changing it. Rihanna, I don't know what the hell I can listen to with Rihanna in it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. R&B, bro. I just don't know. I don't know. You can't even think of a song. Can't think I'm of trying it. to think of that. So that's song, why though, that's why we're not voting for Rihanna, I'm just bro. Trying to, not, I just let her tracks play. That's why. And, that's, like, and bro, I let it play. that right there is like why just... we're not voting for R&B. We're talking about rhythm and blues. What you like when you with your girl, you in the bed, you chilling, you mobbing. Not when you. And we're the females in the chat, when you, they got to help me out. Oh, you really going to lose with the females? <laughs> you really going to lose. females in the chat. You think they going to pick Rihanna over Alicia Keys or Lauryn Hill? Nah, bro. No, not Alicia Keys, but Lauryn Hill. Bro, do you but are Lisa Keys, are, all right, maybe. All of, they all look up to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Rihanna is a big factor out here. Man. Alicia Y'all Keys, crazy. her idol, Lauren Hill. Beyonce, idol, Lauren Hill. Uh, all these girls' idols is Lauren Hill, bro. They idol like, because they looked up to him when I was growing no, up. But no matter what, the they put themselves it's a in lot a of, bigger pedestal bro, than them it's right a, now. It's a lot of women who they listen to growing up. A lot. Lauren Hill vocally, bro. Look, man, this is all I got to say about this with Lauren Hill. We only got to go. go and, I, and I'm telling the chat to do this. Does the chat have it? Because I'm pretty sure they have. Go and listen. <laughs> this is crazy to even say this. Go and vocally listen to a Lauren Hill song <laughs> and, a, and Rihanna. And I want y'all in the chat to just, just, tell, just tell the truth, man. <laughs> like, I, I, look, look we, I know what it is, but just show the bro. Let the bro know what's up. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down. When it, vocals? Come on, man. Lauren Hill and Alicia Keys and Lauren Hill's prime before the drugs and all of that. And Lauren Hill prime. Her and Alicia Keys was neck and neck when it comes down to the vocals. You know what I'm saying? Lauren Hill probably even a little better with what she could do with range and all of that. But Man. you I mean, know, vocals, they both was right I, there. Vocals, I'm gonna say but I'm not gonna Alicia put Rihanna in, I'm not gonna put Rihanna in no in no category with Alicia Keys and, and, and Lauren Hill. I can't do that. These these are crazy singers. All right, cool. So that's uh number what, thirteen? Yeah, Lauren Hill. All right, so number fourteen, who we got? Right, we gotta take it back to the fellas, man. Uh, who wait? Who first? Me or yeah, me. Oh, it's me. All right, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna go with the weekend, man. I ain't gonna lie. He over here I don't jacking everybody fucking list. song. Fuck the weekend. What? The weekend? He just took long. He just took fucking that. I don't wanna know. Fucking now that's just something like a bitch shit, bro. That's I don't even trash. got. I don't even got him on my list, bro. Yeah, he's not my even time. on my list. Fake uh, ass Michael Jackson. Who, who you? Who you got, Swag? Let me look at this list, bro. You know I'm off the humble. I'm off the rip. Uh, shit, nigga. We already put Prince on there, huh? That's a 10-piece on my head, but niggas is broke. Uh, fucking, Prince up there. let's put motherfucking, we already got Sade on that motherfucking. Uh, shit, I'm going to have to go with an OG in the game. Let's go ahead. Shit, put my nigga Babyface up there, bro. Okay, I had I actually have baby baby face right there. Let's go to the next. So so yeah, I can agree with baby face. So yeah, so that's baby face. What number fourteen? Baby face number fourteen. Who did you say with the weekend? The weekend. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you 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 the weekend, the weekend, like weekend no, baby. Yeah, like, bro, who you picking over some of these legends like this, man? Come on, bro. With a nigga like me. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So now um now I'm gonna start getting into a little bit of the group. So who I got um next, I got Casey from Jodeci. Run them. I'ma go with uh Jodeci too. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, put, put, I ain't gonna lie. Right if you said that bro, I had to put him because yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, next we got uh, uh Casey from Jodeci, Big Don. All right, uh, your turn, Swat. Uh, shit, you know I'm about to go with a great. Get to get it by my bro, Stevie Wonder. 
<laughs> Let's get serious. Uh, who knows? <laughs> this is it's your turn, bro. This is sixteen. I'm gonna say Usher, man. I, I we can't do the top twenty without putting Usher up there. That's just facts, man. Top twenty five, bro. People gonna be pissed. Top twenty five. Uh, with the top twenty five, still got to put Usher uh, right now. And, and you said Stevie. Yeah. Um, said you know, it's on, I got I got Stevie right there at that number. I literally like, I got Stevie right there at that number, bro. So I got I'm gonna I'm keep. I'm gonna keep what I got on my list, so I'm gonna say Stevie. So that's right. the game, bro. I got. Damn, bro. I'm sorry, I got. I know, I so go, yeah, Stevie. Break out the TV, looking at this. Like, what? <laughs> Not <laughs> you think crazy. that you think that Usher is gonna really trip up anybody? Hell maybe, no. You know, the most he probably would say something about is maybe because he know he couldn't sing as good as Genuine. Yeah, nah, Tyrese maybe. Tyrese. He know he couldn't sing as singing. He know he's not better than Genuine. Fuck He'll that. probably say as an artist I'm better, but he's gonna say. You know, uh, 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 which I still say genuine, but Usher could think that he's better. You know, but singing, nah, not at all. All right, we got a uh, number seventeen. It's my turn to go for seventeen. Um, I think this is now a spot for. Uh, I got Alicia Keys. I got Alicia. I can't put Usher over Alicia, bro. I, I can't no. Be I'm not, I'm not 20, putting bro. Usher over Alicia, bro. I don't know where he's gonna land. Time? If he do land, but I'm not putting over Ooh. Alicia Keys. It's certain people I'm not putting Usher over. I'm not putting them over Alicia Keys. I'm gonna still go with Usher. Man. I'm going with Alicia. Who you got, Swag? Well, I gonna figure Alicia. I, really Keys, got Alicia I mean, he's if he did, he said her. I mean, you know. He, <laughs> yeah, you said what number is she? Sixteen. Said this is seventeen. 17? This is seventeen. Ooh. I think I'm about to put Mary J. Blige over her, bro. <laughs> Fuck that. All right, so, so, so Big Don, ask the chat. Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige, or Usher? I I'm interested to see what the chat say out of these three. I'm interested, you know? They going to say Usher. And, 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 like and it'd be, right? it be real. I agree with Ronald Isley. I, I would say Mary J. and Alicia's over Usher to me. To me. I got Mary to J me, in my top twenty, but you know, it, it, I would say I Mary J and Ali. So I'm, I'm not. If they say Usher, I'm, I, I, I didn't think Usher should make a top, the top twenty, bro. I would be surprised putting bro, him up in this top twenty, bro. The bro, only way Usher the world, would get on bro. this top twenty is from the chat. That confession, not by me, was dope. And, and it was, but he didn't write it. it don't he matter, didn't write bro. it. Do matter? That matters, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Austin, Mr. James. You, are, you know what's up. You know what's up. All right, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, nigga. It's just, we just singing, bro. It's just facts. It's singing. Nah, but I, okay, it's man. flat Alicia out singing, Keys, nah, bro. Alicia Keys is dope, though. She don't even have to write a song no more. She's on. You ain't lying. I mean, that is facts. She never has to write another song. Never. Man, Usher either. Even when it comes down to Beyonce, Usher. Beyonce knows she Usher can't sing like that. Beyonce. Beyonce. You, oh, you talking about? Where, where are we going with this? No, I mean, you talking about vocals? You, you talking about? Like and and that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like come on, bro. That nigga Usher had to spend that money on that medicine. Alicia yeah. and, and she produced a lot of her own too. Don't yeah, let's not forget playing she produced, piano and all that. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So come on, bro. I'm not putting yeah, no Usher dope. in front of no okay, Alicia we Keys. Alicia Keys though. Hey, I, I'm a big fan come on, bro. All right, cool. So now we got number eighteen. Um, I think it's back on you, Swat. I'm gonna throw a female in the mix. Shit. Females been getting love. Hey, no, hey, the females can't say they ain't got love on our list. I gotta put, uh, you we, know. Where that we got one, two, we got four right, up there already. I got a motherfucking <laughs> say. Uh, <laughs> hey, they was blowing. Like we, Think about it. I say Mary J. Got Blige, Whitney. man. We put Mary J. Blige up there, bro. We got Whitney. Oh yeah, we got Whitney on there too, huh? I I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put Mary J. She over Whitney, but uh. Mary J. could make. She's gonna make the top twenty-five. Mary J. gonna make the top twenty-five, but over Whitney? I'm not gonna put over Whitney either. I'm gonna be Fact. But Shay, my next person, my next person is wait, who you gonna say? You got Mary J. You got Mary J. Who you got, bro? I'm gonna say Usher again. He gotta be on these top twenty. Hell no, nah. I'm I'm going what? Whitney. So there we go, Big Don. Ask the people: Whitney, Mary J, or Usher? You gonna have Usher keep losing, bro? Yeah, he gonna be twenty five right now. Oh, Usher gonna keep crazy. losing. <clears throat> you gonna have him keep it. You, you already he already time? lost Usher? like three, four times, bro. You gonna have him keep Ooh, losing? Ooh, that is deep. So, so who we uh, big down? Ice Mary, Mary J. Uh, Usher helped y'all out your high school years to get to talk to the females and, and, and understand these females. I was playing Whitney, Whitney guys bro. out. I was Whitney, the Whitney, is, Whitney is a part of the biggest songs of all time. Yeah, but y'all use Usher music to get at these all girls time. though. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, the high school was there. Y'all play that Usher to get that groove, that smoothness. Y'all had to play that Usher. 
There we go. What? He said two for real. Damn. <laughs> like, like, bro, your boy know music. Bro, I know music. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to tell you. No, it's not. Female. It's not about no girls. Yeah, really it's R&B facts. Music, though, it's real. facts. This is R&B, bro. I'm R&B. telling you what it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? You you just picking who you know. You nah, ain't. I'm, you, not I'm going no, off of Whitney. vocals. I'm, but I'm going off of vocal ability. Nah, that is. You gonna Whitney. put Usher against I mean, Whitney and vocal? I'm just talking bro, overall, though. I'm not just talking about You better put Usher against somebody I'm else. Don't put him against Whitney. He gonna lose every time. You know what I'm saying? So that is true. So All right, we got number 19. Um, I think it's, now it's your turn to pick first, bro. <laughs> he gonna say I already don't want to pick first. I want to see. You just won't keep picking Usher, bro. <laughs> right. uh, you, uh, people are telling you the truth. They tell you what's really going on out there, and Usher ain't in. He, All right, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta put at least James. Now we get to the top. I gotta believe James Brown gotta be up in here. 19. I don't, I don't know. James Brown. Who, who you guys? You gotta slide? keep it OG. I'm gonna have to put my nigga Ray Charles. Hmm. James Brown or Cisco? I I help you out a little. Uh, bit. Who nah, you got? Nah, I, ain't, I ain't got Cisco. You, you never put uh you didn't put uh Ray Charles in the mix. That's I, I, I may I may could be persuaded out of the two y'all say I have B B Nizzle. I have Brian McKnight. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, oh, we 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 really miss out. I would put him McKnight. over James Brown though. He don't want to stop the 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 uh, riots. Come Jay, on, Jay, he's the, Jay, his voice. The... As, and there we go again. As an artist, no, I would not put Brian McKnight over James Brown. Hell as no. a singer, as a flat out singer, I would Brian McKnight. <laughs> I mean, he's a beast. As a singer, we gotta go to the chat, bro. Um, wait, who did you say? You said, said Ray uh, Charles. Ray Charles. This is wait, wait, let me work. think. Cause maybe I could maybe I could come over. Let me see. Cause I'm I'm thinking about the singing ability. I don't put Ray um, Charles on there. You got the right one. Ray or James? Uh, Ray or James? No, nah, no, nah, because 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 I will keep it. If, we, if it's R and B people up in this chat, I, I really believe they're gonna you say B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, what but I'm trying to see if I could because I, I I'm not, I don't have nothing. I don't see nothing wrong with who y'all said. So let me think for a second. Okay, you said James Brown, right, bro? And yeah. you said Ray Charles. Yeah. Top 20, so. You know what? Even even I'll go either way. Big Don, let the chat decide. You know, Brian McKnight, uh, uh, Ray Charles, or James Brown. I'm I'm cool. <laughs> I'm really cool with um either either one of them. But uh, me, I'm just gonna. I'm always technical with my picks. I'm picking technically who is the flat out better singer. When they got comes, Whitney. What is this that popped up on the? What is that? <laughs> no, the little black shit on the left side. Picture mode. You got the remote, bro. Uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh so uh ask the people um who 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 we picking out of and like I said, I'm cool with it with either of them uh, any of them, but who we picking out of um Brian McKnight, Ray Charles, or uh James Brown. And let the people know, hey people also too understand. I'm all I I'm going by the exact rules that, that this is. This is R and B singers, all right? R and B singers, these ain't have nothing to do with just their performance. Have nothing to do with just the hits. It have to do with their singing ability. So, chat out of those three, who do you think is the better singer? You only could pick one. You only could pick one. The first one to put it up. That's who we rolling with. That's who we rolling with. Brian McKnight, Ray Charles, James Brown. Who we got? This is a man's world. Just remember that, chat. Remember that. No, I mean, when it come down to it, bro, like I said, this ain't just about hits. It's about artists. All right, uh, uh, if, if they going to take a while, Big Don, uh, uh, we'll, we'll give them another 30 seconds. If nobody put another number 30 seconds, because I get it, this is probably a little bit of a tough one because... Okay, so let's go on and put up the Ray. That's right. Ray Charles. All right, Ray Charles. Yeah. I would, uh, out, of, out of three, I probably would have said, like, uh, singing-wise, ability, Ray Charles over James Brown. You know what I'm saying? But uh, singing, performer, James Brown. Singer, Ray over James. But uh, to me, technically, Brian McKnight is better than both of them, technically, as a singer. But um, all right, so we got Ray Charles, 19. All right, uh, number twenty. Now we getting up in. I mean, uh, we we gotta really be precise. I mean, y'all want y'all look. This is what I want to say. 
Think about this. We got to also understand who the greats in the game look up to. When Jamie and Tyree, I'm um, Jamie and um 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 Tank and all them was sitting together, they was all talking about the GOAT to them, Brian McKnight. You know what I'm saying? So we we going to leave Brian McKnight off of the top 25 list, B Nizzle, you know what I'm saying? What? So number 20, bro, I'm I'm personally going to say Brian McKnight, bro. I I mean singing ability, Brian McKnight. And I believe Brian, I Mc, you know, against let me tell you, the R&B artists, you know what I think? I think you know when they say he's your favorite artist, favorite artist? Yeah. That's Brian McKnight for a lot of the artists. He's there, you know, they love Brian McKnight and also who we haven't said yet, uh, Stokely uh, from Mint Condition, you know, another pure singer. But um, I got B Nizzle. Who y'all got? We got Swag. Don't put Usher against Brian McKnight, bro. Nigga, yeah, I'm putting Don't even try. You gonna, that's going to be another embarrassment in the chat. I'm going to let you know that right now, bro. Oh, no, I'm not putting No, the, not uh, you. I'm talking uh, about, bro, don't even. You try that, I promise you losing that one. See, there's a lot of greats on this motherfucker, bro. I'm just like, damn. I mean, I, I, I could say Brian McKnight. I was that's what I'm say, saying. I Come on, bro. Get, show him love. Yeah, bro. Let's go ahead and put Brian on there. I don't want bro. Be next. I don't, want, I don't want bro to be 21. Fuck that. I, I mean, like Brian, say, so. Brian McKnight, and it got to, I mean, flat out singing. I was going to say Cisco. Yeah. Over, bro. Fuck John, no. you got, bro, you got to stop that, bro. Yeah. You got to stop. Do you, do you, bro, listen, do you, listen, do you listen to bro, R&B, you gotta, bro? That's yes. what I'm saying, bro. You got to stop. Do you bro, listen? Bro, I'm an R&B bro, fan, bro. You got to stop like, putting these dudes over, over rap people. All that. These I'm these people teach some of the singers vocally how to sing. You get what I'm saying? Like, Brian McKnight is a is a is a singing technical genius with what he do with his voice. He played piano. Cisco is great. Cisco, dude, his Cisco voice great. Is he came up in church, all of that. He great. But Brian McKnight is, is, is his voice is special. Is, is is different. It's special. You know, he is an it's instrument. Special, but not over Cisco. Cisco was good oh, to me when he was with Bro, I promise you, I promise you after this, the chat gonna have you toe up. I already know. That nigga said Cisco over know. Brian McKnight. I already know, that. bro. They gonna be like, hey, it's oh, no yeah, way that they not. Know. It's no way that they As not, man. Group, in the group, you know what I'm saying? But Cisco by himself? Yeah, Fuck yeah. no. No, bro, we play bro. some Cisco at the club. Everybody jumping up, going crazy. You play with a thong song? My goodness, bro. Hey, anything with Cisco. They That's the, like, you, they be now you disrespecting Brian McKnight. You talking about a dude who has had put out many albums as a single artist. And, and so many albums as a single artist. Way more than Cisco. Way you more. now disrespecting I mean, Brian McKnight, bro. You are disrespectful when it comes down to this list, bro. Very disrespectful. Good thing we here to kind of make it not look like the what, what you saying. But you are disrespectful, bro, to a lot of these artists, bro. But we ain't letting you damage it like that, all right? So far, we got is pretty dope. Okay, 21. Um, uh, well, I think it's on you now, Swag. 21, who you got? Duh. Let's put my boy Chris Brown. Cisco. Bro, you because bro, you listen to Cisco probably more than anybody, bro. I don't, I don't, got, for I don't fact. got neither one. You don't put him up there. I don't got neither one. Oh, I actually man. got. I don't think the chat gonna pick him. I just got vocally. I, to I, I just wish he did more by himself. But I mean, like you know, I mean, I I got I got Lil G from Silk. You know what I'm saying? Like, like oh my. Over Cisco, bro. Yes, <sighs> but 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 I know the chat is gonna. So I, I'll go into another direction. I'm gonna go. Um, should I go there? What would you like to say? Ooh, I was I'm I'm thinking of I'm two people right now, and that's either Mariah or Brandy. I'm trying to think who I want. Um, I pick Mariah over Brandy though. That's all day. Though. I actually got Mariah that's over Brandy on my list. I'm just trying to think. You know, I mean, I got her over Brandy on my list, so I'm going with Mariah. Mariah Carey. I'm going with Mariah. I'm going with Cisco. Who you got, Swag? I said Chris. Oh, but Chris. Chris I said Chris Brown, but let's go into the chat because I can't. I, I I didn't even see Mariah Carey on the list. I, I would have been put her on. That's she was on the top fit with Mariah. Got to be in the top. Yeah, I would have been yeah. put her. I would have been put her up. A I minute, mean, a minute so ago. that's what I'm saying. If 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 you, if you could see her taking um um uh, Chris Brown's spot, it's up to you on, on, on who you like out of both of them. But I'm just telling us all to be realistic. You know what I'm saying? I'm going Mariah, bro. If you if you as far as vocal wise, vocal, and, you know what I'm saying, and, and and being one of the you know pioneers. Back I'm in the, you know what I'm Cisco. saying, all that. Yeah, I'm wow. gonna go. With, I'm going with right. Mariah, bro. So 21 is uh the great Mariah Carey. Yeah, you could keep that Cisco from 21 to 25. I do not see him getting on this list, bro. I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't know. I just don't see it. It's too many other greats, bro. 
I, I don't know where you coming Y'all from. I wasn't into Drew Hill. I, bro, yeah, if we talking Drew, about Drew groups, Hill, Drew Hill's in the top five. Yeah, Drew Hill. If we talking about groups, Drew Hill's in the top five yeah. groups yeah. all the time. Say Cisco because you know it no, it wouldn't be because, because, because there's too many people who over. sung by themselves yeah. as an artist that that held right. it down. Sexy, yeah. You know that's why. But if we talk about groups, yeah, they in the top five. Drew Hill, one hundred percent for sure. When Drew we do Hill. that group group one, Drew Hill is going on. A, they they in the top five. All right, no, I feel it. I feel it. Y'all yeah. Y'all. Okay, uh, 22, I think it's not, uh, what was it, on me now? Yeah. Okay. Um, you yeah. know what, man? I, I want to um, I w- I wanna try to get the, the OG Brandy up on here, man. You know? Brandy, man. She's, you know, yeah. I think I put too many. For personally, Brandy is in my top, my personal top 10. But I don't want Brandy to go down any. I, I, I think she should make the top 25. So I got Brandy. Who y'all got? I got Usher. I gotta go back to Usher. Swag. Let's go ahead and do Brandy, bro. Oh, Mike. Because I was going to say, fuck it. She, she going to have to make that motherfucker, though, Diana Ross. Who? Oh, Diana Ross. Ross. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Diana Ross, Patty yeah. LaBelle. You feel me? Yeah. We're missing a gang of motherfuckers, bro. I'm missing, missing a lot. You know Great. what I'm saying? Woo! Brandy over Usher, wow! Oh yeah, over Usher, Brandy vocally, yes. You know, over I, nobody's about to be room. fussing and fighting about that, bro. Like, I mean, you said it like people ain't going. No, I'm nobody. About people that sell out arenas right now to hear their vocals, not bro. Brandy, bro, bro. Like, not even Ronald Isley is selling out arenas. You know what I'm saying? But he's number four. That don't mean I'm talking about vocally. That was one of the legends of all time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So Usher's still in the game. He's younger. So, of course, Chris Brown sold out more than Usher. Yeah. So why Chris Brown ain't on the list? Yeah. If we talking about that? So what are you talking about? Sell out arenas. Yeah. Chris Brown, yeah. sell, out of everybody on this list, Chris Brown but right Chris now Brown today. Vocally ain't look, out of them, everybody on why. this list, because most a lot of them has passed away. On, course, I'm just, but I'm just saying, no matter what, Chris Brown vocal. sell out arenas. You, t- you said sell well, out arenas. We talking about vocals. Usher do more vocally when he on the I'm, I'm just saying, too, vote as I just I, I, Brandy to me is is better than Usher as a as a singer. I'm just I, you know it's what, it's what you know. All right, number twenty three. Uh, your turn, bro. You going with uh, what? Usher, Cisco, who's Usher. That? I'm not. Say, I think we get into a place he make a make. I gotta see though. We get, we, I think we getting there Gosh. closer to there. Uh, so he said, Usher, who you got, Swag? Just put uh, Brandy on there. Cause I can't forget it. Damn, it's just like damn. don't say Ray J. <laughs> that nigga ain't making a top thousand. Yeah, that not he ain't, he ain't making a top thousand. Hey, no disrespect. Hey Ray, hey Ray, we still we want you on here. We want that interview, Ray. We want, we working on that interview with Ray. You know what I'm saying? So Ray, hey, don't trip, bro. We we got nothing but love, but bro, you you know you ain't in the top thousand. You know that, Ray. You know that, but it's all love though, Ray. All right, the top thousand. Damn. Are you putting Ray J in your top thousand? <laughs> I got no comment. You got Ray your top oh, thousand. You only had one album. What the fuck are we talking about? I, I, I gotta do no comment. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's it. Oh. But wait a minute. Yeah, we, y'all know y'all listen to some Ray J in high school days, though. Yeah. Y'all know y'all bumping some Ray J. <laughs> y'all didn't play no one wish. <laughs> y'all was playing that one yeah. wish, bro. All right, so who we got though? Who we got? Twenty three. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep it one hundred. We gotta put her on there. <laughs> Diana Ross. <coughs> oh shit! Uh, I'm talking man, about. this is difficult. That is a good one. Diana Ross, bro. We talking about <coughs> right. motherfucking. You feel me? I go with Diana. I go. I gotta go with Diana over Usher. I, I guess since he mentioned I, Diana, I, I, I go with Diana over Usher. Yeah, twenty three. Diana Ross. I got. I do it too. Yeah, yeah. I, I go with her over Usher. Definitely. Shout out to Tracy Ross. But where were you at? 24? 24. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. <laughs> All right, man I, man, I can't believe we on, we we ain't going to have Stokely or or uh, Lil G on this list. I'm thinking about, I'm like, these are some of the great, they was just in groups, but these are guys who are vocally some of the greatest ever to touch a mic. Yeah, we're getting that. I sure was, too. I'm like, we got to get one of, man, as <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but look, look, you know, you talk about people who really listening to R&B, bro. Like, as an artist, as, as well, I, was really I know R&B it's R&B, too. because it's R&B artist, 
I, 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 I could, I could, I could get it. If y'all want to get us shown here, I'm cool with it. We'll put us shown here. I think the yeah. world is gonna be like, what the kind of list we got? We'll I mean, put no. Chris Brown. I on mean, here. no. Nah, because Chris Brown ain't both. I'm cool like with. That type I'm cool, of with, I'm cool got... with one of them. Yeah. I don't think both of them need to be in the top 25. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I will say one too. So this, this is our last so spot. I'll pick, right? I'll pick no, we got two more. Over. Okay. So I'll what we go, what we gonna do them now or the 25? What, what are we doing? Who, who else we got? Who, well, who is who turn is it? I mean, it don't yours? matter. 24 is it my 25 turn? don't make no difference. So I'll is say it my it. thing? It's my turn. Yeah. I think for okay. Um, Al Green. Ooh, I didn't see Al Green on there. Al Green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say uh, Chris Brown. Over Al cats, Green. Man. You said Chris. Okay, and you got Chris I'm going too. Usher. Hey, Big Don, let the chat know: Al Green, man. Chris Brown, or Usher? Wow. So you do be going far. You you said Al Green in like number four. No, I didn't say Al Green. I said, I said, Mar- <laughs> I said Marvin Gaye. Oh, Marvin Gaye. Okay. All right. Uh, Al Green, Chris Brown, or Usher? That's who they pick. Dang. Why? Wow. Yeah, they gonna say, say look, Usher for sure. You said Al Green, huh? Al Green. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why I want to change his answer. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know all, all the songs we be listening to on like Men's Society, but uh, like that'd be all green. Like all the OGs, like in, in like the the eight, late eighties, nineties, they all bump Al Green all the time. And all the new movies they be having Usher. You know they play the Usher. No OGs don't listen to Usher, bro. Like no, they don't. OGs don't listen to Usher. You know what I'm saying like new White movies listen like to Usher. You like know what bro, saying? let's be real, bro. Nobody bumping Usher in their car. The OGs listen to Al Green, Al Ronald Green, Isley, Ronald all of them. They don't yeah. listen to no Usher, bro. Keep Nobody listen to Usher. They listen to Confessions of Usher, though. No, bro, no. When you was in high school. That was it. That was yeah. it. But that's what I'm talking about. After high about, school, nobody back. listening to Usher like that except so white people. Out. Excuse my, so, so I'm just. <laughs> Thank you, Al Green. Everybody want to take it back. Oh, give it, no, cool. give it to your bro. It. No, it's, it's vocal. You, oh, bro, oh, no, you taking away from what why people are, are are agreeing with with certain things that I'm saying. I'm talking about vocal, bro. bro. Vocal, vocally, no. Usher and Chris Brown cannot stand to some of these dudes, bro. They can't. They just can't. You know. But they but they're better. They're better. All like like um, they're bigger celebrities. You know, and and probably uh, bigger artists and all that. But vocally, nah, bro. They'll tell you that. I think they'll tell you that. You know. All right, Al Green, twenty five. Y'all want to put Chris or Usher on it? I'm, 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 I'm cool with it. It's, it's, I let, I let y'all. I, we can let the chat decide if y'all want. Who, 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 who y'all got? Who y'all got? Put a Chris Brown. You said Chris. Who you say? You said Usher or Chris? I'm gonna say Usher again. All right, Big Don. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with letting. They really, gonna say probably look, Chris Brown. To be Chris, honest, that's Chris Brown. I would I, I would I would have to I would have to bump you off the list again if I if I said another name, but I'm I'm gonna leave it alone because I think that we got some people up in here right now that know R and B. So, no, but I'm but okay. I'm not gonna do that because then y'all gonna be like, oh no, Chris or Usher. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just let Chris or Usher get that number twenty five spot, even though we ain't got my guy Stokely on there yet of of mid condition, which is crazy, super crazy, and even though we ain't got Little G of Silk. With a little There's a me T in my bit. Like, this is crazy right now. This is blasphemy. But you know what? Y'all want to put Chris Brown or Usher. So let's see what they say, Big Don. Chris Brown or Usher. <laughs> Whatever. No limit, baby. This is crazy, man. Let me say Chris. But it's all good. All these niggas know they little confessions. You know what I'm saying? Oh, All these things. Things. Yeah, in high school, whatever, yeah, bro. School but I'm shit. saying, it don't matter what. But, I, but I'll still tool, say bro. this: vocally, wow. vocally, neither one of them would ever, ever, ever grab a mic next to these cats. I don't. It feel even wrong putting Chris even on this list. I ain't gonna lie. I feel yeah, wrong. I wouldn't say Chris. He's feel, a good performer, but not wrong. singer. I wouldn't I say singer. Vocals, it feels nah, wrong. I don't, I don't like the vocals. That's what I'm saying. Like over, over people that are on this, it just feels wrong, man. It don't feel right. It don't feel right. I'm a, I can't. It just don't. You know what? I'm saying Usher, bro. I, I, I can't get Chris on this list. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's see what the chat say still. Let's just see what the chat say. I just can't. Chris, bro, for real, though? Chris. Yeah, Chris ain't no. On the top no, 25 of all time? All. As a Straight singer? As a singer? <laughs> Chris be blowing. As a singer, top 25. As a singer? Chris be blowing. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> He said what? Chris, Chris Brown, Brown over said Usher. Usher. <laughs> nah, nigga. Chris Brown, bro. I was like, what? Yeah, I got happy. I'm like, nigga, Chris Brown, bro. Like... 
Yeah, I'm not picking that shit over Chris Brown, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Y'all can go, Asher. Go ahead. Don't smoke at the Don't smoke at the nigga. Don't smoke at the cuz. It wasn't me. That was a chat. It was another. Oh no, I'm telling him. Don't smoke at the Usher. So I was like, you are right. And then he said, no. Chris Brown, bro. He said, no. Even Chris Brown would say Usher. That was a good one. That was a good one. Hey, I gotta get. Chris. I'm still going on what I say. He don't have no vocals at all. He's a good performer, though, bro. Chris, he's a performer, you got that I'm not Chris gonna Brown say, has I'm not, vocals, bro. I'm not going to say Chris can't sing, but I would have just felt wrong putting him on his list. I, I don't, Usher, I don't, I don't feel wrong putting, uh, even though I think, now, do I believe that we have people who are not on this list that sing better than Usher? Hell yeah. By far. By far. Uh, Stokely Williams sing be- way better than Usher. Um, um, Little this G. Even do. Little G murders Usher. Murders Usher. This going to do, too. But, Hell no. But... Usher seemed better than Chris Brown, though. I mean, I, yeah, I, of course that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so there we go. Top 25. That's Usher. So, okay, let's run through the top 25. Let's run through the top 25. Number one, Michael Jackson. Number two, R. Kelly. Number three, Genuine. Number four, Ronald Isley. Number five, Sam Cooke. Number six, Marvin Gaye. Number seven, Luther Vandross. Number eight, Aaliyah. Number nine, Tyrese. Ten, Sade. 11 Prince, 12 Keith Sweat, 13 Lauren Hill, 14 Babyface, 15 KC, 16 Stevie Wonder, 17 Alicia Keys, 18 Whitney Houston, 19 Ray Charles, 20 B McNizzle, Brian McKnight, 21 Mariah Carey, 22 Brandy, 23 Diana Ross, 24 Al Green, 25 Usher. Usher, Man. no limit, baby. That's our list, man. No limit, baby. Well, I had a list yeah, up on the community chat at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think no matter what, it's a pretty, pretty dope you list. You made it, Usher. You I mean, made you it, know, baby. Pretty dope list. You know, like at, at the end of the day, it's a list that we pick as a team. You know, like I say, of course, you know, if we pick in personal lists, it would be different. But that's the list we came up with together as a team. So, hey, hey, I, I, I vouch. I vouch. You know what I'm saying? I vouch. All right, all right. Okay, Big Don, we're going to read some of the chat before we get out of here. You know, we'll read a couple of the uh, chat comments, and then we up out of here, man. So let's see what the chat's saying. Let's respond. Let's reply. You know no what I'm saying? No limit, baby. Get that black car. Uh, so uh, we could probably, if you want Big Don, we'll probably uh, take all the people off and then uh, people down, and then we'll read uh, some of the chat. How you feel about the list, bro? I, I mean, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Feel like. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, the only thing that I would say about the list, I really, really wanted to. Um, I, I did want to get try to get Stokely or Lil G on here because, man, I, I grew up. You know, you know, growing up. Or, you know, let's be real, like with Uncle Sam and and all that. Uncle Sam loves some silk. He loves some mint condition. You know, a lot. That's, I, learned, I learned a lot of them. Well, that, yeah, that's the group. What, though, I feel well, like well, well I'm, I'm saying like the people CDs he didn't take out of his car. That's the one Uncle Sam like mastered his voice almost after like Stokely yeah, and, and uh, Lil G Lil from G. Silk and all of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, just growing up and hearing that technique in a voices. Yeah. Uh, my, they're in my top. They're both in my top ten. If I'm just picking my own top ten, I got Stokely Williams and I got Lil G up in there. If if I'm just picking my own personal top ten. You know, but like I say, you know, I'm, I'm I'm for the team, so you know, our list is our list, you know. But a lot of people who I had in my top uh, twenty are all, most of them are on here. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, mainly probably just those two. I got in my in my personal top twenty five. Another one who I have personally is El Debarge. Yeah, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? And I just thought about it too. I mean, that's why I did say Chris Brown. I would have rather put Weekend over Chris Brown because at least Weekend. Fuck the Weekend. You know what I'm saying? Like. like yeah, way better ass Michael Jackson. Yeah. The only thing, I mean, when it comes when it come down to it, look, I'm not gonna take nothing away from Chris as an artist. If like I say, it, it's enough, when we talking about the Michaels, the uh, the Princess, the Chrises, and all of them. If we talking about greatest artists, like they're all gonna be in there, in the, probably the top ten, right? And you probably even throw Beyonce up in there, yeah. who wasn't on this yeah, list. I know. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce. But singing wise, it's just it's like. I don't know if I can even put Chris in my top 30. And I think Chris would agree with that. I, yeah. Chris is a great, but remember Chris started off rapping. Chris was not always a singer. 
Chris started off rapping. Chris wouldn't put Dancing himself. Rapping. That's all he was doing. Yeah, Chris wouldn't put himself up on, on a list like this. I don't think. I don't think he would. They made him become a singer because he was a great dancer. So they felt like yeah, he was I, I, Yeah, I, I don't think that that he would. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, but, you know, hey, everybody got who they like. You know what I'm saying? So but I, even if it was over like Chris in the like, weekend, I'd like, pick the weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. Singing wise, flat out Chris vocal. Weekend, yeah, like, weekend vocally is better than Chris Brown. Vocally, yes. As an artist, no. Vocally, yeah. Yeah. With the chat, okay. Uh, you wanna uh, what you could probably do um, and I've done that before. Probably like re re put it up. You know, you uh, just take take it take it out and then like re put it up. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, if if you need me to come and check it out, I will come check it out real quick. It, it, okay, y'all chop it up. Can y'all chop it up about the list real quick? Give me one second. Yeah. So how you feel about it, swag? It's cool, bro. I ain't even tripping <laughs> off the list. You feel me? That's you, cool. I just can't wait till we do the uh, the R and B uh, groups. That's gonna be a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the groups. That's gonna be way better, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm already gonna put Drew Hill, baby, at the top of the list. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on Drew Hill, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put Drew Hill at the top of the list on that one. That's gonna be for sure. Either gonna be actually, it's gonna be a tie probably between uh, Drew Hill or Jodeci. Yeah, it's gonna be probably top. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put a new addition over to both of them niggas. New edition, yeah. Damn, that's a that's a good one. But damn, damn over Drew Hill and Jodeci. Yeah. Damn, my nigga Swag said fucking new edition over Drew Hill and Jodeci. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. New motherfucking edition. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that Drew Hill it can't go wrong with that. It can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that motherfucking new edition. Actually, I probably put Silk over. New edition. You know what I'm saying? There's a meeting in my bedroom. And girl, please yeah, don't be late. Yeah, I was talking about just that one song. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? I said, you just talking about just that one song. Shit, New Edition been around for a minute. For, for, for a while. Uh, nah, I mean, still, like, got, they got more songs than that, though. I mean, not just that one. That's their biggest song, but... What else on they did? Uh, what else still got? What we got, man? Shit, still got some shit. All right, cool. We back in action. We back in action, baby. All right, we good, right, Brody? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We good. Big Don gonna uh get the chat going and everything like that, you know. But uh, what was, what was y'all saying about new edition? He said no. We was talking about we did the groups. I said I put Joe C and Drew Hill be the top. He said he put. Uh, new edition over all of them. Over, over Jodeci? Jodeci and Drew, Drew Hill. Jodeci? You put new edition for over real Joe, over and Jodeci? Drew Hill. <laughs> yeah, wow. Mr. Telephone, man. <laughs> okay, Optimistic James, respect. That was hard, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Straight up, man. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Got to see. See, R- R&B, to be honest, the rap was cool, too. I like breaking that down, but it was more fun with R&B because, like, R&B was the start. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it come down to, like, uh, you know, uh, just the start of just music. It was yeah. the first. It was the first music I fell in love with. I I love gospel too. Coming up, you know, uh, up 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 in that you know world, you know, as a kid. But R and B was the first genre I fell in love with. You know, like I say, the first song I ever created with my cousin Mitch and uh, my my uncle Kiki Anthony. You know, was a was to an R and B. The world was different when R and B you know was popping saying? on. Too. Call, a song we did called "Here I Come, Baby." You know what I'm saying? We say that. <laughs> we say that. To every girl we could find at that time at 10, 11 years old, man. So, yeah, r and was girl, it. Dull Star, nice picks. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, but the world was different when R&B was popping appreciate back in the day, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. everybody was more calm. It wasn't too much going on. Like, yeah, everybody yeah. was more in love. And, you know, it was more of that different going Different world, on. man. Different yeah. environment, everything. Now like that rap that. changed everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Bitches Rick, ain't shit but hoes and trash. Uh, Sergio Acosta, uh, Ray J Top 300. <laughs> top 300. <laughs> Can we say he ain't in the top thousand? So he's in yeah, yeah. He, said, he must be a Ray I, J I'll fan. I'll probably get on top three. Maybe, maybe top five. Well, maybe top five. Five hundred. Maybe top five hundred. No, that's kind of hard. Hey, I said top thousand at least to you know be more realistic, man. Ray but J's okay, right. Sergio must like him a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> y'all doing my dog wrong, man. Oh uh, man, that's my day. And we'll just fly through all the you know comments, uh, Big Don. Just you know, post whatever. We we'll just read it, read it, read it. You know, okay. Uh, half uh, a Frankie break, Beverly. Frankie Beverly. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, well, Frankie, yeah, yeah, Frankie Beverly. You know who I, you know who I had on here, but I took off the top fifty, and I hated taking them on because you know it's a lot of great singers. Um, Frankie Lyman. Frankie Lyman. Why oh, do fools fall in love? Damn, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, I, I was tripping off of, of not having him on the top fifty. I was like, damn, we only got Frankie Lyman. It's too many great singers, man. You know, know it's a lot. It's, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, bro. too many, bro. Too many. It's way too many. You know, so uh, yeah. Keep flying them. Keep. Uh, okay. I mean, it's all good. It's, you know, we'll read a little bit more. We we'll just fly through. Just read more of the chat. It's all good. Whatever. As long as it ain't saying nothing disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Anything crazy? Uh, Ooh, half a brief. Jamie, Jamie Fox. Fox. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Jamie Fox is a good vocal. Not, not, he not, pretty not good. in the top fifty of all no, time. Yeah, not in the top fifty. Maybe top hundred. Well, just, I don't uh, even know. You maybe right, maybe right, top, top hundred. hundred. Maybe. I get a top not top fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not top 50. Optimistic James. Montel Jordan came off that baby face Brian McKnight tree. Montel Jordan was dope, but, I mean, he ain't in the top 50 either. He I put, I put one hit. Yeah, yeah. Singing, maybe, maybe top 100, 150. Montel Jordan, 150, 100. You know, top 50, I just don't really see that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but Montel, I mean, he had the yeah, one hit. And the dude, he could, he could sing, but he just. Had that one album. He yeah, wasn't blowing he wasn't though. Blowing, he like, wasn't blowing. Montel Jordan couldn't blow. Patty Labelle. Patty Labelle was in the top fifty, but um, but yeah, she just didn't make the top twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> but I can understand somebody having her. In t- I could, I could see it. You know, other people having her in their top twenty-five. Yeah. You know, and we had a pretty good mix of women on our list too. We did. You know what I'm saying? Really good mix. Uh, Optimistic James again. Nah, keep it true. Your lineup is good. Appreciate yeah, we did that. Have a good lineup. Appreciate that, body. brother. Appreciate that. You know, it was a dope lineup. Yeah, yeah. We'll just read. Uh, we'll read one more out, and then we'll close we out. Big Don. On that twenty-five. One you know more, Big Don. Then we'll close it out. Usher, then it'll have been a problem, you know. <laughs> Jason Line Five One Two Troop. That's a group. A group, yeah, group. You know, hey, but shout when we do yeah. the group. Troop definitely yeah, is probably yeah. gonna be in that. You know, yeah, that's yeah, true. You know that. what I'm saying? The, the group one gonna be fun, man. Too. I know, you know, that's gonna be dope. Shout out to the group one we gonna do next. We. I, if it's if it's not next week because we got some other stuff that we putting together, it'll probably be the week after. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, troop definitely is. Yeah, you know, and, and and as a single artist, when it come down to troop, no one is just on that. Think about it. We don't even got Lil G or it's, it's still bad for me, but we only got Stokely or Lil G on that top twenty five list. So nobody on troop is going is going to make that list. Period. You know. All right, all right. So, uh, man, today was pretty fun, man. What y'all, what, y- what y'all feel about today? It was fun. It was great. It was cool, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dope. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any last words? Uh, uh, you go, bro. Any last words? I'm just glad we had us here on the top 25. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you everybody for tuning in. You know, Jay, why one more? Check me out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, man. Do what you do. Yeah. Anything. Stay focused in the street. Don't let nobody throw you off. What you got going on? You feel me? And shit. If you're going through a lot of shit right now, man, get close to God, bro. His door is always open. Always. That's first and foremost. Definitely build your relationship with God. Also, too, men out there, hey, mentors, OGs, that's important. You got to stop with the pride and the ego. That's what kill us as black men. I'm telling you. That's what kill us. That's why we don't grow. That's why we don't build. That's why we be broke. You know what I'm saying? Our egos, our pride, not having people to look up to around us. That's what hurt us, man. So definitely, man, all the young men out there, especially men that come from where we come from, get some OGs, man. Listen to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Just go around people you respect and say, hey, can can I ask you this? Can I ask you that? You know, ask questions, man. You know, but if we keep on thinking that we out here, we hot shit, we could do what we want and move how we want to move, man, we're going to keep dying. We're going to keep getting put in jail. We're going to keep being in situations saying nobody can tell me shit. So I'm just saying, hey, we see what's happening out here. Be smart. All right? Move smart. Your boy Paul P. Love you all. JY, oh, oh, Swag, oh. Big Don in the back. We out here. Love you all. Deuces. I gave up and stopped believing. Oh, yeah. The world around me started crashing. Yeah. I knew you fall down. I didn't see the living. And I know more. But God gave me a reason. Yeah. Man, I had to fight for it. And then I started cheating. Uh. I had to show him that I was.